You gonna take that off? Though? I'm not gonna talk till we're can, rolling. Right? I yeah. can. Yeah. Okay. Are we rolling? <laughs> we're rolling. So this is the pre-show. Here's what happens during the pre-show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Howie Mandel. Caroline is at the controls right now with Alex standing, my son standing behind her. And when I go three, two, one. Your headset. Put on your headset. And that's our theme song. I'm Howie Mandel. This is Howie Mandel does stuff. And I, you're, I don't hear her mic. So we started before we were ready to hear her. <laughs> Go ahead. And you are? Jacqueline Schultz. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. I'm Jacqueline okay. Schultz. I'm still outside because you're still scared of me. She has a cold. No. Uh, by the way, if you watched last week's too, I was outside. We're just filming this like two days apart, so I don't have a cold for don't two weeks the, straight. Don't ruin the, uh, okay. the magic. Right. And I use that word uh, sparingly because we have magic in the studio today. Mm -hmm. Well, we, Lou is always here. Um, but Matt Franco is here. Golf clap. Hello, hello. Congratulations, by the way, Matt, for winning uh, uh, America's Got Talent. I thought you were terrific. Oh, thanks very much. That's I appreciate three, it. Three years already. Yeah, well, <laughs> three. I, I, is it how many years is it? Oh my gosh, you don't know. I don't know. I think it's seven. <gasps> I think was it's it seven. that long. Are I, you serious? I, I no, so, was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20. That's seven years ago. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Twenty fourteen, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. It all just <laughs> Someone here. did their research. <laughs> no, no, lose here for the math of the yeah. show. <laughs> 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 Matt Franco um, was on AGT and not only a, a great uh, magician, mm -hmm. but a great um, entertainer. Oh, thank you. Thank Wait, you so much. it was when it That's was in New York? Went. It was at Radio City, yeah. I'm, ah, I'm you know why I know? Because my daughter um, was being born and you missed the birth because he was watching you win. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, thank God. They're, yeah. putting up, they're putting up pictures of Matt Franco winning. I thought they were going to put up the birth of your daughter, yeah. which I thought would be inappropriate. Yeah. That's it. So uh, I feel like you guys really don't trust me. That's why you're pulling this up right now to see if we got the right I have year. nothing to do with what's going on behind the scenes, but somebody is pulling September it up. September 13th. There yeah. you go. Wow, there you go. Mel B was there. Yeah. Mm. Mel B and Heidi. We all and Howard. Howard, Howard, mm -hmm. Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. And that's you, Howie. With uh, That's you. You look way younger, Dad. Pre-glasses. Yeah. Look, you're wearing my glasses. Too. Yeah, I was wearing them so that we can mention them. What are they? Uh, sea eyewear, your glasses, and they're the Axles, my son. Yeah, I named each uh, pair after a, a certain family member. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, a portion of each sale mm -hmm. of the glasses goes to a uh, charity, a hilarity for charity, Seth Rogen's thing. So at Sea Eyewear. Anyway. Awesome. Matt Franco is... Brilliant entertainer. I also, I'm going to uh, shower you with, uh, before we start talking, I'm going to shower you with praise. Bring it on. Okay. I went to, uh, uh, if you get a chance and you're in Las Vegas and you go to the Link. That's correct. Hotel. Um, he has his own showroom there. Uh, nightly, you can see Matt Franco. What is the name of the show? Matt Franco. Mm, good name. <laughs> <laughs> Tough to remember. No, but sometimes there's a like, isn't there an underlying magic reinvented nightly? Okay, so that's why he only does one show. You can go every night because each <laughs> night it is reinvented. Let's what? ask Kimmy. Kimmy <laughs> actually has gone. Yeah, Kimmy, who works with us in development, Kimmy's gone so many times. <laughs> Kimmy, how many times have you seen the show? You can come talk to in the mic. How many times have you seen the show? I'm embarrassed to say, but I'd say maybe between 20 and 30. No <laughs> way! <laughs> you know, uh, Matt thinks she's a big fan, but when she's here, yeah. after she comes home, she's learning all the tricks. That's and what it eventually is. she's going to <laughs> enroll in AGT and uh, Kimmy Hemar inventing Magic Nightly. At the, uh, but uh, but uh, can you hear in your headset? Somebody's asking. It, <laughs> I think you didn't super, need to type that. Uh, it's super loud, so I'm like half it is? wearing okay, them. Okay, yeah, yeah, one yeah. second. So we'll turn it down. Okay, thanks. So we'll turn it down. And you know, <laughs> Wait, the thing really is, that's really low. Rather than type, you're, they're turning yours down. Oh, turning oh. his down. His. <laughs> is that better? Um, is that better? No, it's super loud. Is that better? It's still super loud. Is this better? It's getting louder. <laughs> <laughs> How's this <Frank>? now? <laughs> now it's muted. Now it's muted. Yeah. 
I didn't want to mention anything because I didn't know we were going to do like a tech meeting in the middle of it. It's not muted. We have made the sound It's getting disappear. perfect now. It's getting perfect now? now? Yeah, a little down. Oh, good. My son, Alex, is on the, uh, he's on yeah. the dial. This podcast Matt, is Matt, reinvented pick a number, daily. Pick a number. <laughs> pick a number from between 1 and 22. Got it. P pick it. I picked it. All right. What is it? Seven. Wrong. Should I have to take off my clothes? What does that mean? It's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He, he can do those. He's been practicing okay. for a long time. <laughs> what was it? 19. Ah. Okay. So, and for those at home that are listening that got the number right, uh, email us at, uh, where, do they, where do they send it? No, they have to send it to write a comment on our reviews on Apple Podcast or write a comment if they're watching it on YouTube in the okay. comment section. For the, only the people that got the number right. Right. Okay. So I went to see... I don't, I forget what I was talking about, but I went to see your show and I've seen a lot of shows. I love, I think it's like the best magic show I've ever seen. And I loved, I, I don't know if you're still, cause I haven't seen you in a couple of years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, maybe I haven't seen you in nine. I, I, <laughs> apparently I'm not good at figuring it out. He just came back to the show. No, no, no. I'm talking about his one man show oh, that wow. he does in Vegas okay. and it was brilliant. And I'll tell you what was brilliant. Thematically, what I remember, you know, most people go and watch magic. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you talk about this. There's two schools of thought. Sure. And one being that people go there and enjoy the magic and the <clears throat> mystery and the, the, uh, the beauty of this performance. And they mm -hmm. want to be odd and they want to be surprised. And then there's the people that watch it and go, oh, I, I know how you do that. Mm. Oh, you know what he did? He did that. And, and that's kind of like, ruining it like why yeah. is that fun <coughs> like guess where the loogie just came from yeah. <laughs> he just i'm not taking it, any more guesses with lou he just he just made it appear like that <laughs> anyway nothing the, up my nose <laughs> <laughs> but but what you uh talk about el very eloquently in the act is saying unless you want to be a magician like kimmy Yes, <laughs> like a kid, you, or like, you know, just to sit back and enjoy it. Right. And there's no reason to pick it apart. I just want to know how it's done. Honestly, Why? I just want to know how it's done. And then when, when they pull back the curtain and I, you know, I'll Google it or look it up and see how it's done. I'm, I'm always feel like such a sucker that, ah. it, that it was. That see, I hate I that. I got fooled that I way. hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that people want to do it. Just enjoy it. That's no, like, I do enjoy why it. don't you sit and watch me write my joke and figure out before you hear my joke and you can laugh. That at would it. be very, very entertaining. Th this is all a misnomer, though. It's a common misconception that when you learn the secret, it ruins the trick. It's not true. For me, what do you mean it's not true? It's not true, because if you go a step further, you appreciate it more. That's what I think. What's, think the, about what's it. the next step? I'm thinking. Who, well, who enjoys magic the most in this room? Probably me, right? I'm obsessed with it my whole life. I, I do it all day, right? Right. I know how all the tricks work. Right. But what is the, is the joy? But, but also, not only that, the, the, there's so much dexterity, dexterity mm -hmm. you know, the things you can do with your fingers mm -hmm. and how you hide things and how you manipulate sure. and how you pull somebody's focus to something mm -hmm. else. Right. It's a skill. Oh, yeah. And not only that skill, uh, to me, it's like uh, the same skill. I know nothing about music, but like a drummer. I'm fascinated that a drummer, that each hand is doing a different thing. Each foot is doing a different thing. Right. At the same time as, you know, and I'm, I'm saying this stupid, but at the same time as you being able to flip a quarter behind your finger so I can't see it, at that same moment, mm -hmm. you are telling me a story. Right. At, at, and, and, and that story is pulling my focus to something else so I don't see what you're doing with your foot when you hide it under your foot. Right. You know, that's amazing. It's like, I'll, and, and my best analogy to that is when you watch somebody who's a good dancer, mm -hmm. I don't want to know how they do that i just want to watch it and stand back i don't yeah. need to try to do that right 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 yeah you don't want to see the pain that they're feeling but you're constantly on instagram sure. and everything you're constantly doing like even in your house mm -hmm. you know you're practicing and doing things and love magic everybody loves magic. there's not a person alive that is not fascinated i believe from magic whether you're three or, my, my, or 103. Which is why there's right? so many magicians that end up winning AGT, right? Isn't this, is this like the no, third one? No, but we one? see a lot of, we see a lot of bad magic. That's yeah, true, that right? Is true. I love bad magic. 
<laughs> I do too. Well, there was somebody that was on our show that that was their act, mm -hmm. the, where they were purposely doing, but I think they were a really good magician who knew how to do things sure. badly. I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, bad magic purposefully is good. Oh, absolutely. Bad magic by accident is like bad comedy. I used to do a bad, ma I used to have the magic rings. Uh -huh. You know, you buy the magic rings, there's sure. five of them and three of them are connected. Right. And I used to try to separate the three that are connected. <laughs> okay. And keep tugging at them. And I get, it, my punchline was, I gotta keep practicing. I couldn't pull them up. <laughs> I was just a pulling, long trick. And pulling and pulling. Matt, are you selling a Matt Franco kit, magic kit? We don't sell a magic kit. Why? I don't know, we just haven't done it yet. Good money. It's only been seven years, so we're working on it. I thought it was three. <laughs> you, yeah. you should sell them. Yeah, but we're going to. We have Matt Franco decks of cards and right. some other merchandise and things, but no actual magic kit yet. Uh, are they decks of cards like magic cards? I only I use regular cards, so that's what they are. Mm. Really? Yeah. I'm like a Do you know I used purist. to sell magic cards? What do you mean by that? Um, there were magic cards for sale. People buy. And like I had a, a job. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Selling them. No. What, what What do I mean by magic cards? Did you really sell them? You I have. did. So I was what they called a, a a stick. Okay. You know what that is? No. So I worked at the Canadian National Exhibition. Okay. And there was a guy selling. Uh, there was a booth where they sold magic cards, and the magic cards uh, without giving. Well, I mean, I can give away this. this yeah, okay. I think so. They were shaved. Oh, right. So that's called a Svengali deck. I call them magic one, cards. One, one, end is, <laughs> one, one end is thinner than the other. Is that what that means? Shorter. Shorter. So what happens is if you if you flip the deck, uh -huh. you see all the different cards. But if you flip it another way, you, they're all twos. Were you oh, good at it? Okay. What? Were you good at it? No, no, no. I'll tell you what my, my job was. Okay. My job, this uh, magician, he's really a salesman. The salesman would be in the booth with right. magic cards. Anybody going to be a magician? Gather around. I'm going to show you. And the crowd would gather around, and he'd do trick after trick after trick, and then he'd sell the deck for like $15. Yeah. My job was to stand in the crowd and go, I'll take a deck. Oh, yeah. So I always started. <laughs> I knew nothing about the thing. I didn't work. I would take a deck. He'd give me cash. He'd give me like $30, and I'd, be, I'd buy the... I'll take two. I want two decks. This is amazing. And then I'd walk away, and then they'd all buy decks. And then there was another performance at uh, 12 at, the, at noon. Didn't and you I, also used to run a, a, a ride? We Put talked the, about that. Red strap over your left shoulder mm -hmm. on a ride? Right. That was hilarious, that story. Thank you. So, but it has nothing to do with magic. I know, but it has everything to do with the CNE, which is what you were talking about. You know about. what your story does have to do with? How what? people are sheeple. And that they just follow the crowd now and they'll do taking, it. You're taking a, a Bill Burr line. Really? <laughs> he said what? sheeple. No, week. a lot of people say sheeple. Sheeple's oh. a thing. All right. But people just follow along. That's what happened with the toilet paper during the pandemic. One person got a bunch of toilet paper and everyone followed. <laughs> anyway, the point is. <laughs> no, these are all good points. <laughs> but I used to sell cards and it bothered me that I knew. And then I bought that kind of stuff for you guys. I bought magic, you know, the magic coloring book. Yeah, it's the same method. Yeah, that shaved. Mm -hmm. And then that's why I shaved my head. <laughs> if I line up with five people and you flip through our heads, sometimes I show up, sometimes I don't. It's a deuce. <laughs> Shows up as the number two. A douche. A douche. Do you ever mix up a douche and a deuce? Yes. As, really? Mm-hmm. Because mm. wow. they sound similar. And I have to say deuce sometimes with cards. Right, right. There's because there's a deuce in the deck. But your wife doesn't ever confuse that. I don't think so. Honey, we're, we're missing one card. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a douche. <laughs> is there a magic school? Do, do people go to like classes, like they have acting classes? There is actually one in Vegas. I, I thought that, I took it. There's a magic school? The Magic and Mystery School run by uh, Jeff McBride, who was like my biggest inspiration growing up. I saw him on TV in 1995. You do a little Google. Here, it's happening here. To teach you how to be a magician, And you'll see right? Jeff McBride. There he is. Which one's Jeff McBride? We got to we gotta get a, is he that's with a the group beard? photo. The guy no. with the beard? No, that's Eugene, the, okay. the dean. Um, oh, there's a dean? This yeah, just is like to, college? This is like the DeVry of magic? It. Yeah. The, the master of masks. There he is. The McBride <laughs> He's magic. He's the master in. of masks? Mm -hmm. How true. are you a master of masks? He manipulates masks. What does ah. that mean? Does magic with masks? It's theatrical. Where, where would I? I'm not familiar with him. Where would I've seen YouTube. him perform? 
Um, well, I, I saw him on TV in 95 for the first time, and he's done various TV shows, and then he also, you know, has performed. And, and he has a school. He does. Have you attended or spoken I, so at? I, I, both. I went when I was 12 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> which is to not, Vegas? Yes. Your parents sent you? That's like boarding school for... It was like the first week of like actual school, and I was off to Vegas. <laughs> at yeah, 12? But it was just a few days, though. But it, your parents, how did they explain to the Board of Education... <laughs> From, <laughs> to go, uh, Matt will not be attending the your twelve, so you would be in seventh grade. Uh, yes, Sixth that's correct. Seventh? That's correct. Seventh grade, twelve years old. Yep. So, so what does a parent say? He will he'll be a week late in in starting the year because uh, Matt's in Vegas. Yes. At uh, uh, Magic College. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And they would teach you how to be a magician in this class. They would yeah, give they you the fundamentals mm -hmm. on how. Well, to... They teach all skill levels, so you could be professional, you could be full time, or you could be an enthusiast. I I believe in that because I took an acting class once about nine years ago. Now I can act. One class. Well, yeah, I took a class. Amazing. So, and I so have, in three days, what did you learn? Um, quite a bit, actually. Quite did you bit. come to the class already knowing uh, magic? Yeah, so I, I started when I was very young. So I Doing up. tricks for your grandmother. Mm -hmm. I remember you, yeah. uh, we watched the video. She's still with us, 93. God wow. Bless. Yeah. Um, they must be so proud. Absolutely. Because it was this kid that had this dream at 12. Like, when did, when did you first? I how was old? four. Wow. How, how, what got a four-year-old interested in? Magic on TV. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Did so you it all know comes it was a circle. trick at four, or you just... Yeah, you kindergarten. Knew, you knew I was, it was a trick. I, I, I don't know if I comprehended anything. I just liked what I saw. I thought, I'm going to do that. And then my parents got me my first little magic trick, and I did it for show and tell. What was the first trick? It was a little ball that vanishes from inside a little vase, a little plastic mm. thing. Is that that foam balls? No, that's a different one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, these are little know. plastic balls? It's a little plastic ball. And it and goes then, in the vase. And yeah. Then it and then there's another piece of vase that goes. Well, yeah, I'm not, kind I'm not, yeah, of. I know. It's a half ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got that. Somebody once bought me that thumb thing. Yeah, thumb tip. I mm -hmm. didn't know it was a thumb tip. What do you mean? Uh, what did you think it was, Howie? I was, it wasn't on my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Well, it just is magic talk. He, he You're not going to understand. He thought it was the index finger, so he was putting it on the index finger. That's what it is. I don't no, know what that trick is. I no, don't. well, uh, I shouldn't. T I hate. I, I, that's the one thing. It. Are you talking you know about your butt? <laughs> No. <laughs> that wasn't your butt? No. And I don't have to explain to my daughter that I put a, uh, a, f a fingertip on my penis. Oh, penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fit right on there. Yeah. Well, I just used it to hide the scarf. <laughs> why, what's that tapping noise and why is that scarf sticking out of your fly but um <laughs> what it was magic yeah yeah okay. do you remember do you, are you a fan of steve martin's yeah oh, yeah huge oh, yeah well, i remember, remember the magic well he likes magic fly dini yeah oh, that's you? my favorite thing yeah fly dini he <laughs> classic make, do you know what that we're talking about Lou? yes of course do you know what we're talking about uh, 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 jackie no steve martin there it is. He's got it. You got to see the, the great the, fly the, dini. The great fly dini. Do a video of the great fly dini. Everything appears out of his fly. That mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a, that's a funny. I'm. I was such a huge fan of that. I just rewatched it recently. My uncle sent it there to me. Is. Not sure if I had seen it before. The great fly dini. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Martin. Steve Martin is brilliant. But again, the, the tricks are so, he pulled a phone out of his fly, he pulled scarves out of his fly, everything. All right, we've seen enough. I think he actually, this is gonna sound weird, if in the video he produces balls from his fly, but they like appear hands-free, if I remember correctly. Really? Yeah, like a ball will emerge from the fly, you'll see it visually, and then you he You don't think it. you can uh, have your balls appear from your fly hands-free? I. I <laughs> <laughs> it's not something well, I've done. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> There's a little puppet. He's got a little puppet in there. <laughs> so good. But that's the thing about Matt. Matt is you're funny, you're charming, and you're incredibly talented at the same time. So you, you, you seem to check a lot of that. There's no secret to why you won 
AGT and everybody who you know is within any distance of Vegas has to go see your show, which is nightly at the link. How yeah. many nights a week? Um, five or six nights a week. Where's Fibers. the link? Where's the link? I, I'm not familiar with what hotel is that. It's right across from Caesar's Palace. Oh, okay. It's in between Flamingo and Harris. It's a relatively it's new a property. Venue. It's a venue. No, no it's, it's a hotel. It's a hotel. And, it used to be hotel and a casino. Now it's called hotel and experience. Mm. They changed it. I love Wait. Vegas. I, I didn't know that. It was called a casino. Link Hotel and Casino is now rebranded as the Link Hotel and Experience. So let's change the casino into an experience. Yeah, it's more immersive now. What it, is there a casino in there still? Indeed. That's, yes. okay. that's the experience. That. Okay, I don't know. There is a hotel in Vegas that doesn't have a casino. Aria, Aria, I think, doesn't have a casino. Without mentioning names, I, I know you went to a hotel once. Mm -hmm. They were at a hotel. One of the hotels, not the Link, uh -huh. is built really weirdly. They fixed it. How, how did they fix it? What was okay. the issue? The issue was when the sun was at a certain angle, it would reflect off of the windows and burn people in the pool area. <laughs> yeah, they called it the ray of death. And magic. I was there when it was happening and it actually burnt a hole into one of the chairs when I was there that I saw. That's you know, incredible. You know how when uh, you're kids, you would burn little pieces yeah, of paper with a magnifying glass? Yeah. Right. The hotel was doing that. Wow. Which hotel? No. No. Oh, you won't say. I won't say. Did you Did you know that uh, Johnny Walker and Jack Daniels walked into a donut shop and the guy behind the counter said, we don't serve alcohol here? <laughs> All right. So, uh, and uh, Matt is also. Because uh, <laughs> they were, they were, they're alcohol. I love it. I love it. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> we didn't get it. We just thought it was funny, but we didn't know why. But now that you've explained the jokes. It's, it's it got to be very clear. And also, if I, I want to say that I took an acting class, as I told you, and I decided to start my own acting uh, class. And I, I have a system. This is this is a unique form of acting, and you might want to take note, Matt, if okay. you're ever going to do some acting. For okay. example, if I had to play a blind guy, right. right? Right. Usually, when you watch a blind guy on TV, they got their eyes open and they pretend like they can't see. What I do is close my so eyes. So you actually can't see. I, I swear, I actually can't see. So it's I'll, not even acting. No, I'll go. So it's a realism thing. So I'll, I'll walk like this. You know, and say, uh, oh, is that you, Howie? That sort of thing. That works. It brings, right. it brings a much anyway, more realistic. It no. brings a much more realistic. <laughs> so, and Matt is also. Uh, it's a system. Uh, okay. it's, a, it's a loose system if of it, acting. If it makes you feel better, I did a, 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 a joke today that didn't work, too. No, I love <laughs> That wasn't even meant to say. <laughs> I was going back to the alcohol no, thing, no. sorry. I knew there was somebody else. I knew, what was the joke? That I did? Yes. I, I was I was performing on a show this morning, and I, I had all these blank cards. They're all blank. What and, show were you on? Uh, is e, uh, Daily Pop, E. It's on E. Yeah. And I, I, I had all these blank cards, and I said, you take any one you want, and they're all blank. And right. you put it on the bottom, I snap my fingers, it comes back to the top. And the host goes, oh my God. Like, are you serious? I swear. Did you call them out? Did you call them out on it? I didn't know. I didn't want to be like a jerk in the moment. I was like, it's just a joke. It settled down. I don't remember exactly what I said. See, the, the difference between me and you, you're, right. you're a lot more polite. <laughs> but I would have said, if the guy said, oh my God, to me, I would have said, what, 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 <laughs> what, like, what are you saying? Oh my God, to they're all blank. <laughs> I put the blank one on, on the, the bottom. bottom. You picked any top. card. Do you really? You are the best fucking audience in the world. You will even enjoy the Kimmy Himar magic show. She's getting pretty good. <laughs> well, that's an easy trick. That's the trick you did on TV, though? That's a joke. I was just, it was it's a, a little, great joke. It was just a little part of it leading into the trick. You know, right. you, you got to start, you got to build your way up. You opened with that? Is that what you opened with? It was It was in the middle. Okay, because you want to start off with a real magic trick, I think, and I did. then do did. the blank. He did, he did. I did, Okay, I did. I'm just saying, this is the- Did you go to the McBride Magic and Mystery <laughs> no, School? No, but I started my own acting school. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no more. No more about the acting. <laughs> <laughs> and it reminded no, me of, no, 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 no. No, no, I'm not going <laughs> to express- Matt is also a married guy. Yeah. When well, are you going to- to make Damn. children appear. I don't know. 
for you. I don't maybe know. Do you think not, we should? Maybe I, that's not well, something they want. Not everyone has to have kids. No, let's oh. talk about this because Tiana oh, yeah. and I have talked about this. Okay. Let, let's let's get you, your, Should we get Tiana on the phone? We can absolutely. Okay. All yeah, right. let's give her a ring. All right. Well, didn't you already do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sensing that there's disagreement. No, not so much. We'll see. Let's get th- so we're going to talk to yeah. Matt Franco's prank? wife. Should we prank call her instead? Where are you from, Matt? Whatever you'd like to do. New Hampshire? Uh, I'm oh, from mm-hmm. Rhode Island. Rhode originally. Island. I always yeah. get those mixed up. Yeah. Where are you from yeah. in Rhode Island? Uh, where in Rhode Island? Yeah. Uh, I'm over here. That's not me. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. We just Johnson. have a lot of, we put women behind plates of glass. <laughs> <laughs> do I have like, to text you the number? Is that what I do? Uh, text me the phone number, yes. Um, where in Rhode Island? Johnston. Are you familiar with Rhode Island? Yeah, I my am. mom's from Warwick. No way. Yeah. I've been to Warwick. Yeah. That's you know like, what Rhode right? Island is most famous for after Matt? It It, it is the, uh, um, what's it called? The uh, fake, capital. no, the fake jewelry of the world. Uh, the, the fake ju- um, what do you, costume jewelry capital of the world. Do you know Kubrick that? Kubrick Zirconia. You know, that makes sense. Yeah, my uh, parents worked for like a jewelry company when I was growing it's co- up. You look up costume jewelry, Rhode Island. It is the epicenter of all costume jewelry mm. i know that interesting and i've played the, the warwick music hall they must have mine play there not well, the i warwick. think i think they closed it i don't think it's there it's yeah it's not there i have a piece of the floor they sent me a piece of the floor do they no, have you mines? don't like i do why do you have a piece of everything from everywhere <laughs> you That's have seats I mean. you have floors you have cards why do you have a piece of ev- why do people send you pieces of stuff why do you think you're here you're a yeah. piece of sperm <laughs> that i didn't want to throw away <laughs> <laughs> did you guys get the number? Did you get it? Oh, did I it come through? I, I, ADHD is a terrible thing to have as a host because <laughs> I got off topic. There we are, Rhode Island jewelry. Yeah, Look they the... must have mines, like jewelry mines, right? No, it's People costume want... jewelry. They still got to dig it under My from underground, went. don't they? They have to find the jewelry under. No, they don't find. No, it's not antique. That's where you get most of your jewelry go. is, is got it. in mines. Jewelry mines. You know what's crazy? My uncle lives in Rhode That's Island, and he's also there. a jeweler. And a, well, he got in big trouble for buying fake jewelry in Rhode Island. Really? Yeah. It's the capital of costume jewelry, which is fake jewelry. Yeah, but yeah, he his family mines. like owns an opal farm, and he bought like a bunch of like fake stuff. You so he says excavate. he did not know it was fake. I thought you were saying custom jewelry. You're saying costume jewelry. Right. Like fake jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, fake. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> You're from there. How do you not know that? <laughs> no, I... Well, Rhode Island, jewelry capital. Oh, the, the, well, it's costume jewelry. Capital. Right, right. It's not the d- diamond capital. There's no mi- the diamond mines Probably in Rhode not. Island. Probably gold not. mines. I don't There's think so. There's costume jewelry mines. Please leave your message for... Oh. It didn't ring? No, she, and she didn't answer. Give, did it ring, though, or no? Well, no, let's this I'll try again. This is concerning. Are you prank calling her? Well, no. I don't know. Anything <laughs> is possible. I think we're calling her just to have children. <laughs> it says calling. Would you hear a ring? I don't no. hear. You hear what I hear. I don't hear a ring. Well, right now I don't hear anything. Ah, there, there, there we go. Got to dial all seven numbers. Yeah. Come on, TT, pick up. TT, is that what you call Tatian? T Tian, I call her TT sometimes. Tian. Hello. Hi, Tiana. It's Howie. Hi, Howie. How are you? Matt was supposed to be here. Where? Joke over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, congratulations. That's why we're calling. Matt says that you are due. And th- what, what is the due date? Because we want to, oh, the no. whole audience, we're on the air. We're on the air live now. And he oh, just made no. the announcement on my podcast. And I cannot be more thrilled and more honored. And uh, he said that uh, you would be willing to do the gender reveal right here on the show. So... Boy or girl? <laughs> <laughs> what in God's name? <laughs> Don't get all religious on me. <laughs> uh, Boy just, or girl, do you not want to reveal? You can tell him. Okay, it's a girl. Wow. <laughs> what a beautiful... I'm, I, I'm doing this with my girl. My uh, firstborn is a girl, and I'm telling you, it's great. And uh, I wish you happiness and health. This is so amazing. To uh, and that, that that you both would do this on our show, and uh, you're, the, you're, you're the first to know. Well, wouldn't you be the first to know? <laughs> 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 okay, you're the third to know. Oh, oh my gosh! I mm-hmm. hear the dogs. Oh, those are dogs. Mm-hmm. Good. 
<laughs> if you didn't have dogs, I would call an exterminator because that is a terrible sound to have when you don't. So I was asking, and he said I could ask you. When are you uh, are, are you are you interested in having a family, Tiana? Um, yes, we. I am. I am. Wait, wait. <laughs> You're saying I, on the I, I know. I am. Well, I am. What I, I said was, let's talk about this. I figured we could get some advice from Howie or Lou, proud parent yeah, or I, Lou. I, I got advice. All right, let's let's hear it. Tell her about your acting class. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, you know, here's what I need, you need to know. It takes uh, seven days to create a habit, ten days to break a habit, and a nun to wear a habit. All right. I did a card check right. this morning where I had all these blank cards, right? And the host didn't get the joke. Tiana saw it. <laughs> oh, did you watch it live? Yes, of course I did. Were you proud of him? I love, my Very wife proud. loves when I try to do, and this happens more than the other way around. I'm always trying to do jokes and funny things and followed by silence. I'm, I'm <laughs> the, the only difference between what Matt did this morning, he did one thing that he feels didn't work and and the gracious host acted like it did work for right. the wrong, not like as a joke, as an amazing. <laughs> Everyone at home was probably just like, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> wow. I think they got it. I think they got oh, it. Oh no, but I think people at home probably went, well, I know how to do that. They're all, <laughs> they're all blank. <laughs> Well, that's easy. I saw him do it. He showed us. He shouldn't have showed us that they were all blank. Right? People are always correcting, and I it's like possible. when they don't get the joke right? and they correct You love them. that. You love when they don't get the joke. I do. Yeah, I know. I do. I know. <laughs> but uh, You'll love this one, then. Here we go. <laughs> go ahead. Um, uh, yeah, here's, here's what I want to say. that um, I, I met my doppelganger. Have you ever met your doppelganger? No. I've met my doppelganger. His name is Fred Herbs. Right. The odd thing is, he looks nothing like me. <laughs> I love hearing the laughter in the other room that's not, every time. You that's hear. not laughter in the other room. That's a sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a thing like me. So, Tiana. <laughs> zero. Yes. So, talk to me because I want to solve this right now. You, yes. you want to, uh, you, you feel the, the ticking clock. Um, yeah, I mean, I think... How old are you? I think I am 30. Okay, so you feel the ticking clock, right? Yep. And you want to get started. But Matt says... You have to finish the sentence, because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> you want her to finish what Matt says. All what right, TT, well, let's go. What do you got? Honestly, in all honesty, he did say, if we don't have kids, we can have a zoo. So. Wait, it's either a zoo or children? <laughs> or you can't have both? Well, you, you know how you hear the dogs in the background? Tiana's thing, like mine is magic, hers is animals. I love mm. animals. So, so why don't you guys time, move into an ark? Every time he, she asks for, like she's ready to have a baby, do you just get another dog? Here's a hamster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> H hence the three pets. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you wouldn't have, you can't have animals and children? You can't deal with them? I mean, now, if it were me, again, Howie, if it were me, I would have both. It is you. <laughs> it, is, it is you. No, it's us. Ah, no, but you said I would have a child. He wants yes. to have a zoo, but us, who's, who's, who's phoning? Uh, it's a spam call. I could answer it. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, Hi, let it, put it to the mic. And I'm giving you a call from the dealer service center. We recently noticed your car's extended warranty was going to expire. What? And wanted to give you one final courtesy call. Before Thank the you. Expired. They're so courteous. You're so courteous. This would make you financially responsible for all service repairs. Listen to that. Press 1 now if you wish to extend or reinstate your car's warranty. Once again, press 1 now or press... Or press. You, you're, you're, I'm, I'm gonna My name is Bella with the warranty division. Hello. Please, please verify the year. Hello. Can, can I speak with Stella? Is Ste Sir, my name is... Yes. Yeah. Is, is, is Stella there today? I need to speak with Stella. Line. Timely verify the year, make and model. Second, transfer you now no, to Stella. Stella. Okay. Yeah, transfer me to Stella right now, please. No, verify first the year, make no, and model. No, not to you, car. only to Stella. Only to Stella. She's the one that I spoke to before. I only talk to Stella. <laughs> she hung up. Okay. All right. 
So, Tiana, <laughs> finish your thoughts. Um, what are my thoughts? Yeah. I, I think I would be a great mother. I think you would be a great father. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a little nervous because obviously we like to both do things together, travel and whatnot. So, so our hesitation uh, lies there. Okay, but let me ask you something. So because you yeah. like your independence and you like to travel, do you not find yeah. that if you have a zoo that uh, that would hold you back, all the animals and everything? Well, I do have a great house sitter, so I do feel good about that. Well, house sitters can sit on babies too. Just, sit I four. Like I meant sit, sit four. Everyone, <laughs> sit four, not on. always says once you have kids, you're not going to want to do X, Y, Z. You're not going to want to travel. So, yeah, Howie, your advice, I understand why now Matt was asking you because your advice would be helpful. I had a whole career, uh, maybe it's over now, but I had a whole career. Jackie, why don't you speak up as the child of somebody who had a show and traveled? Tell her. I don't know if she could hear me. Can she hear me with this Hi, mic? Jackie. Oh, hi. <laughs> <Okay>. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I have two kids, and... No, I don't get to do anything I want. But you hey, did no, whatever. That's not what we were going for. <laughs> you did whatever you wanted. You had a whole career, and you traveled, and I went with you, and so did mom, often. But w- w- there's no traveling. You have a he has a residency in Vegas. Well, well I am sitting in L.A. Right I now. know, but that's odd. <laughs> but aren't you home? You're probably yeah, home more part. than I was. Yeah, I think so. Up Way until more, yeah. COVID, I was doing 200 live dates a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have a Vegas residency. Right. So right. I was traveling everywhere and I did miss out on a lot. Mm-hmm. And I tried to travel with the kids. And even when my, my wife didn't want to come, I hired somebody to even come on the road with us and our kids. Mm-hmm. And then I hired, you know, so you can make it work. So but you encourage it. You, you, you're children? In, yes. I think children are a future. The truth I is, write that down. That no, could be a hold song. on, stop. Do you I gamble, think... uh, Matt? Do I wait, gamble? Wait. No. When you're in Vegas, no. You don't, you don't. How do you stay away from the table? I'm not interested. That's not the point. Now, no. Let's finish your point. It could be. The truth <laughs> is, you. The truth is, you have to actually be sure you want kids and ready to have kids to have kids. No one should push you into it. Yes, you could still travel and live your life, or you could stay home and. Do that, but you or have what to about be sure. Tr- what about both, uh, doing both with you children? You can. Whatever you want to do is possible. Like, I'm very different than what you and mom did. Like, I, I just stay home I think having children is nothing. the most important thing. No, it's the not. Future. No, the it's future. not. The most important thing is that you want kids and that you're happy in your life and with your decisions. Kiana, Otherwise, you do you want kids? Fuck them up. <laughs> I think, yes. I think, I think it's actually I do. You think truly you do. That, you're not selling me. You can't put the word think in front of truly. Well, we asked <laughs> her... <laughs> We because I right truly now. do, or I think I truly do, has very different... How old is Tiana? 30. Yeah. Where were you 10 minutes ago? <laughs> I can't hear. I have no headphones on. I know. On. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're, she's 30, your wife? Yes. And, and, and well, she's got time to make a decision on kids. Oh, How, you're not hearing her, what she's saying. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, oh, I think okay. I he doesn't hear. He's not, we don't no. give him headsets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that explains the, 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 like, the comments that were just had nothing to do with what she was saying right oh, now. No, that, no, like, that, that has nothing to do with it. No, that's not it. At all. <laughs> that's not headsets. <laughs> no, that's just Lou. The but sidebar about gambling think, caught me off guard. Do you, do you think you're a lucky guy? Do you think you're lucky? <laughs> Immensely. Do you think you're lucky? Yeah. But you make your own luck, right? You make your own luck. I make my own luck, and I want to teach people how to make their own luck. It's not, if you know, because luck is not something you're given. You have to make it on on your own. So what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, gra- grab a penny and flip it over your left shoulder, and then turn around, right, mm-hmm. uh, three hundred and sixty degrees, mm-hmm. and then find the penny. Well, if you turn three hundred and sixty degrees, you're going to be at the same place that you started, and the penny's going to be behind you. Okay, so turn around one hundred and eighty degrees, okay. Doctor Mandel. And <laughs> then, you don't have to doctor. be a doctor. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> and then, and then you you find the penny. Uh-huh. You pick it up, uh-huh. and all day long, you'll have good luck. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> Finish with the fire marshal. Pardon me? No, Who not the, the fire, fire marshal. She's asking a good question, though. What'd you don't you know what she's talking about, no, do you? No, I don't. You have another friend, Louie. Yeah. Louie. Oh, yeah, Louie. Yeah. And Louis I, Boa. Yeah, and I had run oh. into him at one point. He and, said he uh, was the fire marshal? You did, and I believed it. I said he was a fire marshal? I believe so. I think that's what happened. Why would yeah, I tell Kimmy's you that? Kimmy's giving me a nod. Yeah, so this is a while Why? ago. Why, Kimmy? Hi, Kimmy! 
Hi, Kimmy. That's Tiana yelling at you. So you were just messing with me, but like I had I'd run into Lou. We were shooting this like it was a pilot for something, and okay. he does a lot of like background work, right? Yes, yes. And uh, we had chatted, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I, I met you at Howie's office," and. I mentioned to you, I ran into Louis. What does he do for you? And you said mostly fire safety. <laughs> no, but he does. He does that's not, it's not a profession. But I bring Louis with me and he'll go, don't go down that hall. Something's burning. <laughs> I take people with me. Why is that funny? God forbid I should be too close to flames or inhale some. Yeah. Uh, you need they, one of those. I always carry somebody with me. I hope that if you're ever with me, Tiana, that you would say, Howie, don't go there. There's a but fire. You know, it's a different world right now when you talk about having kids. It's a, it's a crazy different world. I mean, when you were a kid, when I was a kid, my father would have some friends over and I, and occasionally one of them would come up to me or, or call me over and then they would give me a quarter and they would say, get yourself a pack of cigarettes. This ah. is what they say to me. And I took the quarter, but I didn't tell them I didn't uh, smoke. Yeah, you uh. should have flipped it over the shoulder, turned around 360 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> if only you knew. It, 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 it took 50 years for me to figure that one out. <laughs> that, that story ended a lot nicer than I thought it was going. <laughs> Here's a quarter. <laughs> Get yourself some Do you want to put your hand in the pocket and feel the whole roll of quarters? <laughs> Get yourself a pack of cigarettes. And I would take it, right? I would take the quarter, yeah. letting him think I was going to buy cigarettes, mm -hmm. but I didn't even smoke. Gotcha. But now he does. What was the roll of quarters? No, just a quarter. Oh, the, okay. The penis. Uh, <laughs> We're back to I'm just penis. saying that the world is different. The world Thank is you, different. Jackie. That's my daughter <laughs> clarifying that I'm talking about my penis. <laughs> I thought it was a thumb tip. <laughs> <laughs> a penis back. with a thumb tip. That was a callback, Tiana. You weren't here, but I bought. <laughs> do you do magic at all, Tiana? No, none. Not one trick. Not I one. Don't want to, I hmm. don't. No, no. She I has mean, enough. So magic do you in her get? Life. Do you get nervous? My wife. I'm. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Uh, um, is so sick of me trying out my humor on her. She uh, like I'll say something to her, and instead of laughter or even her saying that's not funny, she just says. Is that a joke? Is that your new joke? Is that your new joke? Does he walk up to you all day and go pick a card and you go, fuck you? All day. Long. <laughs> I've never felt so connected to you until this we, moment where you told that story I with sit Terry. At my, I sit at my sink counter and he literally sits diag like directly across from me, staring me, just waiting for my head to pick up so he can say, okay, can I show you something? <laughs> So you and do then, need kids. And then you see his balls come out of his fly hands-free. <laughs> oh, my God. Like Steve Martin. <laughs> also a callback, now Tiana. that would get my attention. Oh, she's a big Steve Martin fan. <laughs> she's seen it. No, but my wife, and, and, and I say, honey, honey, thousands of people buy tickets to see this. People enjoy me. She goes, well, go show them. <laughs> I, yep, I love that because I went to see Matt and, and and Kimmy always goes to see Matt and and it is one of the best shows in Las Vegas but no show is good enough to never leave <laughs> right <laughs> right yep, yep, yeah yeah yep, yeah 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 <laughs> but wouldn't it be great this is so I'm just saying if you are not getting a good response from your wife just because she's seen it all yes. she continue <laughs> Don't you want to create an... Uh, what are you doing to the dog, Tiana? <laughs> he leaves town miss, for a couple of hours and you're... their father. Oh, that's saying... They're, those barks are saying, Matt, come home, Matt, come home. Yeah, they think they hear him every five seconds. But, you know, as entertainers, it's interesting. We have, we have a perspective on life that's unique, right? Whether you're a magician or a comedian. So you can diversify your creativity. You can diversify it. And, for example, I'm philosophical a lot of the time. And I, and I will write down philosophical things. I think, therefore, I think... This is why you should have kids, though, so that you That's... can have, <laughs> you can do magic tricks for them if she's over it. Wouldn't they'll like they'll this... become her eventually. Hmm? No. Oh, oh, <laughs> dad. oh my God, he's got a deck of cards. Run! <laughs> That's what she does. It's, Literally, the funny she will thing run. That we laugh, the, the funny thing we laugh about is, though, I do make comments and everybody's trying to show me magic, but then I just go to the show every night anyway because I comes enjoy to every watching show. him. So my wife used to come to the shows. 
You know, I've been married for 42 years. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. I think the first 10 years, and, and up until COVID, I think the longest I was not on stage was two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the yeah. first 15 years, she came to every fucking show, never missed a show. Every That's show. amazing. Well, and then... Now she comes to nothing. <laughs> She's not here today. Even when she travels with you, she doesn't go. No, anywhere. even if when she travels, she goes. What time's the show? How long are you doing tonight? I'm gonna go out, and then that, that's it. But the odd time now. Go <laughs> you ahead. know what's funny? What's funny? She has an office here. Like her office is here. She right. chose to work from home today when he was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any any time you get away from me, <laughs> I said your daughter's here. I'm here. Said, I'm not really interested. But. <laughs> But <laughs> she, That's she but it is well, amazing that she did go all the time. But she has attended like sometimes she's attended a show like in the last year or so. She's mm -hmm. uh, been with me and I've done a show. Did she go to AGT with you? At no, all? but okay. but she said to me, she she saw my show and she goes, you know, Howie, you're you're funny. And I go, why the fuck are you surprised? <laughs> well, she goes, well, around the house, I hear what you're working. It doesn't seem funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the truth you know without when you're showing like i would imagine when you're showing tiana a magic trick or yes. you're trying to work something out oh yeah it's a little less yeah. performance than on stage and the lights and hundreds yeah. or thousands of people sitting in right. front of you well she also sees it before it's any good at all and it becomes a production when you actually do it you know? yeah Even the simplest thing is like a huge production she sees it where it's like oh that didn't work let me start all over again Dan, have you ever yeah. tried things on her that didn't work? You go, honey, I want to try this. Get into the box. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go out for a couple of hours. <laughs> I wouldn't go oh, over very well. Oh, which reminds me, I got a, I got a, today I got a bone to pick. Yeah, I think you should just keep your fingers off of it. And, and, and they all look... <laughs> That's called a genital cyst. So many, so many choices. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just got a, I got a bone to pick and I, there's a lot to choose from. Okay. Are you going to pick it or that that's it? Yeah, no, that's I got to go to the bone store <laughs> <laughs> and pick just the right one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so have has um does she my wife uh will deter me mm. from what I think is funny sometimes. Ah. I'll go I'm going to do this and she mm. go that's not funny. It's not going to work and then I'm on a mission to prove her wrong. Yes. Do you do that all the time? Right, Tiana? Yes. So she motivates. <laughs> so do you, like in the middle of the show, there's thousands of people that are sitting yes. in the audience yes. and the show, they're roaring and there's smoke and magic and mystery and the, the and you unveil the new joke and the audience applauds. Do you turn to her and go, told you, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then when it goes the other way, she does it from in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Told you. Do you we find it's harder for you to create own. something new now that you've been more established than it was when you started? What oh, was that? Wait, sorry, wait you're not wearing the headset. Ta ta yeah, sorry. Tiana, what did you say? Wait, wait. Do you find Wait, it? wait. Oh, you wait, Lou. Oh, Tiana is speaking. I apologize. What was your question? Oh, no, I was just saying, yeah, we literally have our own language between the two of us. It's nonverbal. Right. So yeah. we don't even have to do the told ya. We just, <laughs> we have a nonverbal. So when it doesn't mm -hmm. work, then you make eye contact. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, and yeah. she knows what oh, it yeah. means. My wife versa. doesn't like to sit in the audience because a lot of what I say mm -hmm. is very embarrassing to her. Like I'll go, when I was having sex with my wife last night and then yes. every head, if they know she's in the audience, every head <laughs> turns to Terry. <laughs> she goes, why do I have to do that? And I think it's the same for my kids too, right? Jackie, it's hard for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a call. <laughs> uh, Are you getting a spam call too? Who? Who? <laughs> uh uh yeah send them through somebody's coming through your gate yeah wow wow do you find it more difficult now to create new <laughs> uh material new new magic tricks because you're more established and the expectation is greater or is it easier because the expectation is greater um Expectation aside, I think it's easier just the more you do something, the less guesswork there is, the better the better you get at it. Um, but it's it's still difficult, but it's really cool. It's really um, exciting and encouraging when you come up with something that like literally is not Googleable, right? Like everything we can Google. Well, now. I was saying and I never are you getting more calls, Jackie? You're all. Mm, no, I just realized that I let someone that I don't know through the gate. Why don't you go uh, take uh, go to the other room, 
turn off your microphone and deal with what you're dealing with and then come back. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell my husband. <laughs> they let somebody, they, she should just let a stranger through the gate. Mm. To my house. Wow. What kind of world do we live in? <laughs> well, now, now we have a security issue. Not even here. Should have had Louie doing that instead of fire safety all this time. Where's your daughter living? At Woodland Hills? No, well, I'll give her address. <laughs> <laughs> so now Smart. everyone can we, come through the gate. We, we have a security <laughs> issue, so why don't we give out the address? <laughs> and that'll, that'll fix uh, it. I didn't even think. I, it's but what, 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 what were we talking about? Oh, we're recall. talking about magic. He, he no, said, the creating. Is the, creating. Yeah. The thing about creating, and it's not the expectation. And I, I don't want, first of all, I was going to say what I hate is mm. when you do something on AGT. Mm. And then I watch people who post it like in slow motion and the, and mm. with arrows and go. I, I feel like fuck you. Like yeah, it's why? funny that that upsets you. Why it doesn't bother me? Mm. It doesn't. Not really. I mean, I was that little kid. I mean, we didn't have YouTube, you know. Uh, but it's one thing if you want to figure it out. Yeah. And you, I think there's nothing wrong with recording it. Watching it in slow motion, right? Figuring out how to do it for yourself, right? But that's the sharing you don't like. I hate that. Got mm. it. But you because only, I don't want. I don't want to know. Well, don't search it, right? Yeah. And, but, no, you but, have to realize too. But most, sometimes I'll search like Matt Frank. It says Matt Franco trick. Yeah. But, AGT. So I click on it, and yeah. it's somebody showing. But you know what the fun part is? They're no. they're never correct. Oh really? Oh my gosh! I mean, it's almost—it's nearly impossible, even with video and rewind and pause, to like figure out magic that's rock solid. But it's just you not possible. Do you think that if 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 everybody knew how you did every trick in your show, mm -hmm. every single one, do you mm -hmm. think they would be equally as entertained? I, I actually uh, equally is a tough uh, sell, but I like to think that as long as people are laughing and having a good time, my job is done. I would try to prevent people from exposing how your but they can't that, livelihood that's, works that's my point they know? can't it, it's not possible to expose it but like, it's I, the I same do. thing as a comedian on stage telling jokes or telling things and then you find out he said that this happened with his wife people like to kind of think that whatever story you're telling is kind of the truth oh yeah and then to be exposed that he made that up that's not that never happened to his kid put it this way it, it it's it's worse if someone spoils the ending, right? If it's a surprise ending, it's like a spoiler in a movie. If someone attempts to spoil the method, they're they're most likely wrong, and I can prove that mm. in the presentation. What did you think of that? I think it was years ago on Fox. There was that. It's the mask. I magician. love it. Yeah, yeah, I the mask it. magician. But I, 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 I had a lot of magic friends that not magic friends. I don't make friends of here. <laughs> <laughs> Imaginary friends. Yeah. Uh, no, I meant magician friends who yeah, were yeah. really in the community were kind of anti well that's that the guy. thing everyone you know was sort of up in arms thinking oh magic is over it's never going to exist again it just made you more creative well and then the same thing happened when you know with youtube and the internet oh magic's over it's never gonna it, it's never over i mean there's always new things to be created and like i said unless you really understand the psychology of like where the brax gaps are in our brain and how it really was works. that the, did we just see the gap in your brain you did <laughs> you saw one of them i've got many do you find it harder to write howie when you perform new stuff is it something because you're howie mandel is it easier to get a laugh or is, is, does it eventually catch up with you after a few minutes and then they expect something that's re really fun is it harder for you to write stuff i can't see who that is it's, so, uh, ellen for your no, your test your covid test oh you come in so I'm doing Ellen, and I have to have a COVID test. There's okay. always so much going on in the podcast. Uh, Diana, uh, I'm having a COVID test right now, so talk to your husband for a second. What? Talk to your husband. I'm having a COVID test. I feel I'm like... At... So what's going on? Oh, nothing. How's Vegas? Oh, she's it's, in Vegas? It's Vegas. Yeah. Right. I was getting ready to take the dogs for a walk. Oh. Is that that? Was, that, was uh, 15 minutes of them barking at the door? Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, they, Can you they, pick they, my they're... nose while you're here? <laughs> it wasn't a COVID test. I just don't like picking my own nose. <laughs> I have somebody in twice a week to <laughs> pick my nose. You with handled a pipe that board. really well. Why you? I get really. Oh yeah. I. Do you want to tell Howie how I did on the first time yeah, I did I mean, it? I let's just say about eight cars back. Hurt mm. him. What? I could just imagine. I was screaming. 
Getting a COVID yeah. test? Well, it was the one that went far in. This was before the really early on. Oh, that one, he, went, he went in. No, no, that was that was the that little, was a wobble. That was the but I've done the one right up. Yeah, I didn't like that. So too you're much. like Kimmy's husband. Kimmy's husband didn't. <gasps> he and I talked Jason, about this. Yeah. Jason screamed too. Yes. Didn't Don't he? we have a video of that? Oh yeah, I think he showed me that. Oh yes, yeah, video. <laughs> here, here she is. We have the best video. I can send it to you if you want to see. <laughs> Can it, do you mind if we show it on the podcast? Not at all. Okay, so <laughs> put up, give it to uh, Caroline. We'll put up a video, and you tell me if you uh, were worse, equal, okay. or okay. the same. I don't understand why uh, sticking a stick up your nose is that. I mean, I, the first time I had it, they, I felt like she was poking my eye from the other side. Right. It, it doesn't bother me. Have you ever had a prostate check? No. Oh my God! They're going to hear four cars away. Well, you can't be in a car. <laughs> Can you do a drive-through prostate check? Roll down the window in your pants. If you were stranded on a desert island. Oh, here's this is Jason. Jason Bader, who's a, a very talented uh, musician and comedian. Yeah. Can you do a drive-through prostate check? Is what she's oh, checking oh, right now. Oh, that's good. I love that. <laughs> the uh, Can you do a drive-through prostate exams? Poop before the exam. No. You don't. No, you're not supposed to. I don't think you can. A lot of people, you feel like you're going to poop during the exam mm. when you have the exam. I feel like when I saw you on stage in Vegas, when I saw your show there, you, there was a lot of prostate talk. Is that right? Well, when you, I'm in my 60s. Mm. So that's, <laughs> uh, you know, it's not, old. I get my prostate checked more than my eyes, more than my nose, more than any other part of my body. That's the one thing when you go get a, a checkup is the prostate. The prostate becomes the, the I think. Uh, I, I honestly don't know why Terry doesn't want to go to your shows. I don't get it. <laughs> was that irony was that irony right there is prostate also the grab your balls turn your head and cough no what's that what's that what is that i talk about that in my act i, I don't get oh, the connection God, but that's for a hernia this. what a oh, fun no. family dynamic look this at this is. Bush block. <laughs> no you're talking about not when a doctor does it not when i do it around the house no <laughs> when a doctor does it it's a hernia uh, you've had that no i've never turned the head and cough are you serious? I've heard of it. I've never. That's done what that. my husband said too. My husband got it done, and he wanted to like sue the doctor because he's never heard of it before. Wait oh. a minute! You have never. You've been to That's a physical. You have <laughs> never had the guy grab your balls, turn yeah. your head, and cough. Okay. I don't recall any turning and coughing. No. Nobody really does okay, that. Okay, looking straight ahead and coughing. I don't remember coughing, just but I might be mis. Remember, I said the that. gaps in the brain. It might just be that. just grabbing your balls. I, no I feel, coughing? Yeah, like I feel like when you're, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but when you're a kid, they do that, right? They do like a little check. One, two, make sure they're there. No? No. Is that just Why, me? You, no. That's just you. <laughs> make sure they're there. So this is, uh, this is Kimmy's husband. Oh, what was he getting? This wasn't a check. What was this? That's the COVID. It was, a, it was a thumb prick for the antibody test, COVID but that's check. even worse oh. than anything A thumb else. prick. Let's watch him. Mm. Here's just, ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so his legs are bouncing. It looks like he's wearing a diaper on his face. <laughs> Almost falling out of the but chair. It's just a pinprick that they did, right? Yeah. Hold my hand. <laughs> There's Kimmy. Now it starts, Kimmy. <laughs> That's your knight in shining armor, Kimmy. That's. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> and that's what you're like with the stick up your nose? Yeah, I wasn't good. But I've gotten a little bit better. Are you okay it. with needles? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not really a thrill seeker, though. That's not a <laughs> that's thrill. That's not a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island and can only bring one pair of socks, which pair would it be, Matt? Um, I I don't uh, just a pair, just like a, maybe like a, a like an ankle sock, maybe a black pair of Remember, socks. Remember, you're on a desert island. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't follow. What nobody, did I miss? nobody. Does. What did I miss? You didn't miss Not anything. Me. Lou <laughs> shows up. Missed. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to catch. You're on a desert okay. island. Tiana, do you have an answer to Lou's question? No. <laughs> That's it. Just no. No socks. She's oh. going sockless. Anyway, did we come up with an answer, Tiana? Are you going to uh, procreate as soon as he flies? Are you going home today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you going to procreate? Tonight. Wow, Boom. tonight. We Thank you, Tiana. Thank <laughs> you for your call. We appreciate it. Go take the dogs out and uh, Ooh, stay healthy. let the dogs out. Tiana, Ooh. Tiana. Yes. 
No, I'm just finishing the song with your name. Oh, oh fair, fair. Okay. Fair. Bye, Tiana. Love you. All right, bye. bye. Love you. Lo love you, too. Bye, Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Tiana. Hang, hang up because my phone's not working, Gary. Oh, boy. There we go. Anyway. So that was nice. That was nice. So tonight. Wow. Tonight is the night. Jack of Diamonds. Well, why do you have that? He did a magic trick a week ago. <laughs> why do you have that? <laughs> he, he just uh, did a magic trick a week ago. and now He couldn't weird. find the card that why was missing. Why do you have playing cards? He doesn't. I, he has I, one. I have, I, I have Jack 52 of, of them. <laughs> you have Jack more? Of, yeah. Why He carries cards. He because you know what he stuff. does? Why? He, he goes to meetings. Do the, do the, th you did it to one of our other guests. Yeah. Oh, is there, is there a bit? Yeah, here? Do, do, well, it's, I don't know, it's a bit. Okay. Like, well, these are from yeah. the Vegas, too. Yeah, look. Tropicana. Are, because I work at the Tropicana. Uh, oh, awesome. Yeah. You know, the microphone is behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know, there's a key, Lou. You've been in this business how long? <laughs> if you don't see the mic, it doesn't hear you. <laughs> Matthew? Yes. If you don't mind me calling you, Matthew. I do not mind. Pick a card. Now we have a deck wow. of cards from yeah. different decks. I heard the this podcast where Lou did magic for Matt Franco. <laughs> <laughs> show Howie the card. Okay. Do I say it out loud? No. Don't okay. show me the card. I okay. Okay. And now. Show it the camera. Show it the camera. Show it the camera. Which one? Anyone. All right. All right we got now. it. We okay. got it. I'm going to put go. these cards here, okay. and I'm not going to look at the card. Okay. I'm just going to concentrate on the card. Okay. Oops. Didn't see it. I oops. did not see it. How many times do you oops. say oops Take during your show? Oh. Take that card. Yep, yep. Anywhere you want in the deck. Okay. So the card has been mutilated and huh? it's being what? placed in the middle. I'm going to find it, Matt. Don't, oh, right? What did we say? What did we say about telling people I, how things are done? I'm just narrating for our I'm listeners. Shuffle the card. <laughs> it's because you have an eagle eye. You've been in this business so long. You know how things are done. There are is people that at your home. Card? That is not it. Damn it. Is that your <laughs> that card? That is not it. Fuck. Is that your card? That is not it. Well, all I right. don't have no. all fucking day. <laughs> oh. Is that your card? Does it look like your card? It looks like it from the back. Just to change oh, color. Right. Man, it magically changed color on the back. Yeah. Do you know where the word ta-da came from? No. Do you? No. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just, I, I always wanted to ask a magician. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she started Googling and it was ta-da and the first image is a prostate. <laughs> That's where it came from. The guy pulled his finger out and went ta-da. <laughs> ta-da I wish I knew. Is indeed an onomatopoeia, which is mean, imitated of the sound musical flourish or fanfare composed for one short note followed by one long note, which often accompanies an entrance trick. An entrance, oh. a, a trick, trick, in various kinds of performances. The word is imitating the classic horn sound. Oh, wow. There it is. <laughs> that should be your entrance. Maybe every, it will be from now in on. In every room in the house to get things going tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or that should be like when you think you've procreated as you finished. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if tonight's the night. We'll see. Maybe. See, Maybe it is. Tiana said it was. Tiana, the wife said, and the wife rules. Well, we, wife. we asked her parents and they, you know. You asked her parents? We did. Yeah, about what? Advice. The same oh, thing. Whether you can have sex tonight. No. <laughs> Let's About call her parents. Oh my gosh! Should we call. Them? <laughs> you want to call your parent, your in-laws? We could. And Anything is possible. <laughs> All right. You know, I made up that magic trick, right? I made it up. I had some other stuff that. Oh. But no, this is better. I okay. think. What were you going to talk about? No, not talk about, but I was looking at comments from our past podcasts, and Sandy Hoy said to prank a rug store. However, you're allergic to all the rugs except ones made out of camel hair and ask if they have rugs with camel hair. But we could save that one. I would rather prank your in-laws or call your in-laws and ask if you could have sex tonight. Oh, that's a weird question to ask, but they do love you, so you could probably pull it off. No, but I could love, there's a thin line between love and hate, yes. and that could change with one question, one statement, one phone call. I want to keep every fan I have. If you say so, whatever you it's, it's your show. It's are they also from Rhode Island? Yeah, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. are, are her parents friends with your parents? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we all get along. We had a, actually quite a bit of bonding that happened. Uh, I wasn't really there for it because I was busy, but while we were... <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait, you bond? Don't even finish this. <laughs> quite a bit of bonding happened. I was not there for it. 
burned that kind of negates afar. the bond. <laughs> our families, our families oh. got to really hang out for a long period of time in New York City oh. during AGT. You know, because week oh. after week after week, you keep getting voted through. So they came to all the live shows and they were spending a lot of time together when I was off busy, you know, rehearsing and whatnot. They got to hang out and really get to know each other. So it was great. He did so, one of the best tricks at the Radio City Music Hall. A card disappeared, unlike the one you, you just did. Right. Go on. And then, oh, maybe it was, it was a phone. phone. It was a phone. It was phone. Melby's phone, yeah. Melby's phone disappeared. And then he went into the audience cut open the upholstery on one of the seats and it was in there Holy now now wow. this is a great example though really magicians all over the world can watch that, that they can rewind amazing. it they can slow-mo it's youtube proof can't find no it. but then th when i think of that and now i'm thinking of tiana like you're at home coming up with that idea honey take this knife cut the couch open <laughs> oh shit, nothing's there all right try again do this cut the mattress in the room no it's not there all right honey could you just slice the drapes no. Do you want to know the truth? What? It was her idea. Wow. Really? It was her idea. So she must know the fundamentals of, of magic for her to come up N with that idea. No. No. She comes. She sometimes will have an idea, pitch it to me, then I got to figure out how to do it. But oh. we sat across from each other at breakfast, and she said it, and I said, that's crazy. They would never let me do that. And then I got voted through, not expecting to, and I had to meet the next morning and pitch my next idea. And I had nothing. Was so. she sitting on a chair with a, a spring in the upholstery going, I feel something sticking in my ass. I have an idea <laughs> for your act. <laughs> you know, uh, this just hit me. <laughs> uh, I, didn't buy a, I didn't buy a magic book to come up with, with the magic trick that I just performed. You just learned that on your own? I just, I, I, I created it myself, mm -hmm. and I don't even know the fundamentals of magic. So that's like that genius stuff right there. Or it was really clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine that the coolest acts would come from someone who doesn't do magic, right? Because that that's your audience. That's someone that is going to be watching that you need to impress. So it means more coming from her. 100%. You know? Yeah, I'm always trying to get inside the mind of like what my audience is going to be thinking. And, and I live in like a different mental world now because i'm so in the magic world it's like so unlike me who i just had a discussion with my daughter before this mm -hmm. i don't want to know what you're thinking i don't want to know what the audience is thinking when you perform after i perform <laughs> i don't want to know whether you liked it <laughs> didn't like it i kind of just am on yeah, I'm, I'm entertaining myself like even doing this i love talking to you oh good i, think I love you're it too. one i think you're one of the most talented neat and and just to be a witness this is what i love about america's got talent to watch somebody who I didn't know, I didn't know you, right. who had a dream and uh, uh, w when he was four, mm -hmm. and now l look at this path. It came to fruition. There's a four-year-old doing a little magic trick with a vase and a ball mm -hmm. in his class at Show and Tell, and now he is the headline act. Your name is on the marquee in Vegas nightly. You won a million dollars on AGT. You're going to create babies tonight. Look at where you've... <laughs> no, but I, but I was witness to it. I watched him come on stage. I was sitting in the room at Radio City Music Hall when they were roaring, when you got the news that you were moving forward in the competition. Right. When I was there, when you got crowned. And I'm always wondering, well, there's no crowning, but you, when you were the winner sure. of AGT. And I find that fascinating just to be in the room. And, and if I may him. just say, you're terrific. I've never met you, but you're, he's just a terrific guy. So what are could, you basing that on? It, the fact that I've never met him before and I don't know him mm -hmm. and may not even like him, but he's a terrific guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just great. You're, no, you're great. No, thank I'm you. just saying that you, there's there's a niceness about you that that's the magic of Matt. Yeah, oh, what was I your, appreciate it. What was your yeah, point though, Dad? But, that but you don't like what hearing I'm what saying. anyone I'm trying else to say something nice is what I'm saying. You don't want to hear um, what anyone else thinks about you or your performance. Yeah, or? because I'm afraid that if I hear what somebody thought, then I'll change it. And you and won't then, be authentic, too. Right. And then I'm not there to please each individual people, no matter who, who each individual person, no matter how many people are in your audience, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's always more people that aren't interested in the world. You know, I've told this story before when I played Radio City Music Hall yeah. as an act. You right. played there. with Lou, Lou was the opening act. That's right. I you, have it, a picture of it. You have a picture of it? I have a picture of the marquee. Oh. It's, it's got your name, mm -hmm. and, and it also has my name wow <laughs> yeah and didn't you take the underpants from that night and frame them 
That was from the uh, Carnegie uh, Hall. No, that was here in 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 uh, L.A. The the amphitheater. Oh, okay. It used to be called the amphitheater. Universal. I, amphitheater. Nobody had a picture, so I took a, a fr- I still have that. A picture of my underwear and one sock. No, I think point. it was it wasn't a picture. It was actually your no, underwear. No, yeah, that's right. The actual underwear and sock that I wore uh, at on that stage. Show. But my point was that you know we sold out two shows in one night, and you sold out two shows. But I was looking out the window on the Seventh Avenue. I've told this story ad nauseum so many times but my wife said why aren't you smiling and i go we're in the biggest city in the world mm-hmm. Fourteen thousand people you know the the streets were all amazing. crowded uh the, the, you know seven thousand people were walking out seven thousand people walking in for the next show there was traffic jams and everything she goes all this is for you how do you mm-hmm. feel and i said i feel like this is the biggest city in the world there's 10 million people in this city uh nine million you know nine hundred and eighty four thousand people don't give a shit that i'm in town oh Maybe they just so, couldn't get tickets. They weren't first in line. <laughs> well, well, I don't look even at you, know. you rosy optimist. But why yeah. would you look at it that way? Because my point is, that, that's not a negative. That, well, it's not a positive. But, the, but the, the, the thing that I'm saying is comedy and what I do, I really do it. I really love doing what I do, and I make myself laugh. I can't do something that I think you're going to laugh at, but I don't think is funny. Right, right, right. You know, and just because they say, oh, you shouldn't do that or they're mad at you. I don't like an audience is not to listen to an audience is to garner Mm. and to have them join me. Like I want people to be in your trip. Well, and and what I'd love people to do, even on this podcast, instead of, uh, you know, and, and we get like shitty comments and a lot. I read all the comments, so I'm the opposite. I read all of them. I don't even care about them. But what I do care about is people who write letters and have suggestions and do things like that. Like if they if they want to do a prank or they say have this person on or that that kind of stuff I listen to. Which is what I just read you that girl saying and we will do that. I appreciate that, too. But I enjoy reading comments and writing them back. You don't want to be you want to be authentic and you're worried that if you read too many comments and listen to too many people, you're inauthentic. It'll shape you a little bit. I don't want to be, you know, I think what you do, Matt, is art. I think this is all art, the idea, the art of communicating. Right. And you garner the audience you garner, and the people that don't like you don't listen to you, don't turn on. I think with social media right now, it's really scary because it can, uh, you know, direct, send you in a direction that you don't want to go. And then, you know, you get, uh, you know, I I got, I'm I'm being totally open. I got a, a phone call from Jackie and said, we got hundred people said they didn't like this and it's something that i like to do right right and i said well i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bend to a hundred people right you know there's thousands of people listening but the the people that don't like things are louder than the most people don't comment most people don't you don't hear from they show up to your shows Mm -hmm. the things that are the loudest are the negative sure so i i want the audience to contribute to the show i want you to come up with ideas (laughs) i want you to come up with suggestions I want you to come up with some tissue for Lou. <laughs> well, when I saw I'm you, I'm not even looking at you. When I saw you perform uh, the first time at, at the Mirage, you had played a video before you were coming on stage, and I was backstage <laughs> with you, yeah. right up until the moment I think, right before you walked on, and you were so excited about this video, me to see it. I had never seen. It. I didn't know what was happening, and I won't. No, you can spoil anything here. You, you won't spoil. Go ahead. Well, I'll you just can. say it was like this repetitive, silly video that kind of looped over and over oh, again. The, when you opened your shows, that was hilarious. It was from, hysterical. From Lawrence Welk, right? That yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but just what I brilliant. Yeah, but uh, what I loved about it more than anything was watching you because you really were getting excited about it and you thought it was so funny you started telling me like now watch some people aren't going to get it they're going to start leaving they might even ask for refunds and you see like you genuinely didn't care and they do you know right people like people ask for refunds and if i listen no. to the amount of people yes oh, oh absolutely i heard people get the funniest part to me is listening to the audience like starting to boo starting to get super upset oh, right. and then look at you and you are laughing hysterically that, that was the best thing it was the fun it was so, inspiring so just to explain yeah so the, so the lights go down and when when you go to see a show people are excited about the beginning of a show the the lights going down that's where this was the impetus for me doing it people get so excited as soon as i went to see the stones the other night at the at the new uh, sofi center as soon as the lights go down that crowd of sixty thousand mm-hmm. people just roar before they've seen it before right. they've seen any, right. anything they're excited and when i'm doing when they come to a howie mandel show the lights go down and people are just excited here he is it's about to go and this video comes up 
and it's just this old guy from Lawrence Welk singing Happy Days. And I edited it myself. And it's just this loop. And it just every time you think it's going to end, it starts again. <laughs> it gets so funnier it, every time. It gets and and it gets funny. And then it gets not funny, and then really funny again. It's so. And then great. they're angry, and that's why I don't even mind talking about it because it's kind of what you were saying about magic, right? Because if people heard it on this and they go and see the show, they'll get it. The, they get it, but there'll be a, enough of. The, a group of people that didn't see it that are mad and that just makes you laugh <laughs> more but you're saying people ask for refunds from your show you said that oh but even before the show starts They'll, people are out in the ticket booth going fuck him this is just annoying i'm leaving <laughs> i've seen people throw things at the screen i um i'm on the headsets uh i, I take the headset of the stage manager mm -hmm. and you can hear the lighting booth and everything going there's people leaving they're complaining oh my people God. are at the ticket booth That's there's somebody weird. yelling at the manager i've had promoters going you got to turn this off you, you know, got to turn this off you're pissing the audience i off. probably saw that eight or nine maybe ten years ago and i still remember right. that that's how funny it was it was but I'm saying there's enough complaints where if I would have listened to those complaints, I'd go, oh, people are getting annoyed. A hundred people are getting annoyed. I've, I've played that in front of 10,000 people, <laughs> and I've had 30, 80 people really fucking annoyed. And even on Twitter, you know, the right, it, it, your show is great, but that opening, <laughs> that opening. And that's almost my favorite part of the show. Mm. But right. that makes me laugh. Right, right. No, you have such a thick skin to be able to... to do that though i remember being inspired like oh, i want to get to there i want to be able to like it's not that you don't care it's that you do care i do care right <laughs> but i'm being as as my daughter so eloquently put it, it, it i'm being authentic to me exactly if i know every success that i've had in this business mm -hmm. has been um uh, an instinctual right rather than a plan it my instinct of mm -hmm. what happened naturally mm -hmm. if you would Put that on paper, like for me to show up and be a comedian with with the tools that I had, you'd say mm -hmm. that makes no sense. You got to sit down. You have to write, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you have a sense of humor, a true sense of humor. You you. But sense if you're going to humor. make no any yes, I do have okay, a sense of humor. That's what I'm saying. But do people you know a sense? Everybody has a sense of humor. No, some but, people don't. You know what's funny, and if you know what's funny. 99% of the time, it's funny. But that's subjective. So my point is, if you have a sense of, you know, even you, the sense of humor or the sense of what, you do these tricks or come up with a trick or magic. I don't think you call them tricks. but Whatever you, come you want. Up, you come up with an illusion or sure. magic or whatever because you first and foremost would think, wouldn't it be neat right. if I was holding something and then it disappeared and it showed up and, oh my God, how could I do that? And that's, who are you entertaining first and foremost? You. 100%. And if you do something like, I know they always want to see the chick sawed in half. They were out, I can't right. have a magic show without the sawing somebody in half. So I'm going to go do that. Right. I think that you lose, the, you know, that's the traditional way of doing it. By right. the same token, you know, I think that I just like doing it. Right. My success or notoriety or money mm -hmm. is secondary. Yeah. And I'm loving this podcast because at this point, I don't even have a sponsor. Hey, you know something? During COVID, I've forced myself to learn to recognize people just by their eyes, you yep. know, their hair. And their face. However, their height. And their face. <laughs> and most importantly, their name. Because of COVID, mm -hmm. I'm able to do that. So, you know, speaking of sponsors and stuff, want to hear something kind of funny? Yeah. Uh, I love that were... you're prefacing it like it's kind of funny. So if I don't laugh. There were, it's it's was... because I read all the comments. There were a bunch of comments saying there's too many sponsors in this, in this podcast. We don't have a single sponsor. Oh, there's too many what? ads in this podcast. We don't well, have a single sponsor. Why would no, they say I'll, that? I'll tell you why they say that. Because this plays on YouTube. Oh. And oh. On YouTube, there's ads. So it's not that oh. funny. Okay. Kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was like, what ads are they hearing? Right. No, they're watching on YouTube. Oh. Got it. I, I like to quote my mother every once in a while because every time I went to visit her, you know, I, I, as I'm leaving, she would say, she she would say, and if you have time, get me an onion. This is what my mother used to say all the time as I left her in the home, and then she passed. And when you know she owed me ten bucks, <laughs> I'm never going to see that money again. 
So what is bringing tears to your eyes? The fact that your mother passed or the onion? The onion. <laughs> the onion brought tears to my eyes. Okay. If you have time, get me an onion. <sighs> I try harder and harder each time. Do how old are your so folks? To how, old, how old are your folks? Older than him. 70. One of them might be around 70. <laughs> and the other one, my mom's in her 60s. Yeah, Like they, me. They're youngsters. Yeah. Do you find that uh, when you go, if like, um, do you socialize a lot? Ish. Okay. Then do you find that when you go to like a party or somebody's house, do they expect you to dazzle them with uh, magic? Uh, not, not particularly. Like does everybody at the table at a dinner party have a napkin, but you have a scarf of three <laughs> different colors? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this is where you're sitting, Matt. So I've got, <laughs> I've got through phases where like that was the thing, maybe in like high school, even college. And then I went through a phase, maybe like when I started doing it sort of professionally, where I didn't want to just be like doing tricks on a whim. And then I like fell back in love with close up magic at some point. I guess when I started like really doing Vegas full time on stage and I never got to do any close up magic anymore, um, I fell back in love. So now I'm like shoving tricks down people's throats. But, whether but even in your trick, not. there is some close up magic, but you're able to use the screen. Yeah, I've always been more of a um, like a, a stand up. Guy, in other words, um, like a, we call it par parlor magic, not grand illusion, which is like the sawing in half boxes, things like that. And that's not, grand illusion. Grand illusion. Mm. And then there's close up. I thought magic. marriage. I was suffer grand from grand illusions. <laughs> I suffer from grand illusions. Do you? Yeah. Delusions. Yes. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> Similar. <laughs> <laughs> he always gets illusions and delusions mixed up. They come from the same I'm source. Delusional. <laughs> and he's illusional. Yeah. <laughs> hey, next week at the Tropicana. Yeah. Are well, you there? Illusional and delusional. <laughs> and no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, are you at the Tropicana? I'm going to be there again, uh, but I, I have. Let me. You know, I went. I went back. One of the most just as COVID ended at, in Vegas. Do you realize that COVID has not? No, ended? no. But in Vegas, where they allowed you to go to oh, the, the healthiest showroom, place on earth, and you didn't have to wear a mask, <laughs> and and the audiences, I, I, they just. Fucking, you could go out there and say, hey, my name is Frank. Mm -hmm. No, it's Lou. I'm joking. <laughs> they fucking go nuts. Do you find that the audience is, is much more appreciative now oh, than they were pre? Very much so. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Have you, have you performed the big show since? No. Okay. It, no. I did, a, I did something on the CW. I did, uh, um, uh, no, I've been really nervous. Why? Really? Why? Yeah. <laughs> COVID. Oh. That's still going on. Yeah. <laughs> when you come when when you come to Tropicana next, you're gonna take your night off. Maybe come to the link. I'll go to the link. Right. Yeah. yeah of course. Right. I, I'd be happy to come. I'd love to see. What, what time do you go on at the Trop? There's two shows. They yeah. do 16 shows. They really yeah. do a lot of shows. You do 16 shows in yeah. the week. Well, what? that then they were doing three on Friday and three on Saturday. So th there's but a late. not anymore. They're doing two Friday, two Saturday. There's a late night one I can see then. Yeah, you. You're more what than time welcome. What time do they go on? I'll get you a good the late price. One I'll get like you a good <laughs> price. <laughs> no, uh, the, the late show is at 10.30. Oh, How perfect. long do you do? I'm coming. I do 25 minutes. I I, I opened for uh, uh, Tom Rhodes the last time. I oh, I like there. Tom. Tom's great. He's yeah. a funny guy. You know Tom Rhodes? No. Oh, he's hilarious. Do you guys, as as is Vegas still the same as it was where you either, no. Well, what did you, you mean by that? I thought you meant COVID related, but that's not what you mean. That's not what I meant. Yeah. But I like you, he's not a mentalist, he's a magician. <laughs> <laughs> he just showed you his weakness in mentalism. Yes. But um, You mean the camaraderie among performers? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's still there. Are you friends with like, do you buddy buddy with the other uh, magicians? Like, are you friends with Penn and Teller? Yeah. Magic Murray, like all them that are all well, they don't have to be just magician. No, but I mean, is carrot it, top. I saw that, or yeah. carrot top too. But I saw that there's like some beef sometimes between some of the acts and magicians. Really? Yeah. That is kind of true. But I not saw for me. an article. What are you talking about? Tell me. Really? Should I say it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Was it Penn or Penn or Teller? <laughs> One of them shit on Murray in an article. I'm not aware of this. What was it like? You could find the was article. Was it joking? Murray didn't or? care. Murray posted it on his Facebook. Oh, well, they didn't care. He didn't care, but I thought it was shady. Maybe it was jokingly? Maybe? No? No. Do the guys in the back know what I'm talking Here about? Here we go. And you can go. take this uh -oh. out. Where we go? Oh. Up it. <laughs> we got Penny. Penny and Teller. Uh, Penny and Teller. Well, I know Penn. 
really well. Yeah. He's you know what? I, I actually, uh, I, I, I remember I actually told him that story about your video you played before the show because I was so fascinated by it. And, you know, I was like, you know, and then people start, he's like, oh, watch, they're going to start walking out now. And, you know, it, and I said, it's like, but he doesn't mind. And he's like, no, it's because he does care. And, you know, that it kind of yeah. helped it click for me. I want it to be, uh, we don't see it. I'll find How it. did you discover that? I'll but she, does she know? Uh, put uh, uh, Penn, Gillette, and Murray. Uh, Beef. Sartre. They yeah. said Murray Magic plays Murray. plays the, the Laugh Factory. What? Uh, Murray plays the Tropicana Laugh Factory. He's he was got on, his own show. He's got he, his... was on, um, he was on AGT also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Murray. I had a. I had a uh, so is there camaraderie or I think so, competition yeah. in the. I think that comics, is, uh, uh, as much as there's camaraderie, it, when we were at the comedy store, when it was mean. No, it's very. It's still mean today. Yeah, it is. It, no, I, I. It's mean in yes. comedy clubs. Yo. but yeah. there's camaraderie too. It's so competitive. There, but it's both. Now. It's what, both. But I, it, I find that one of the things you need to do now, if you're a comedian, is be funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, fuck. You just found yeah. that out in 2021. What the, what the fuck is going on in the comedy? <laughs> no, but I think it's really hard for a lot of comedy because. Um, in a comedy club, it might be like that at the Magic Castle. I don't know, but but uh, when you go up and you stand in front of a room and you get these laughs and you're enjoying, mm. uh, wallowing in the joy of strangers who yeah. are enjoying you, Love and it. you say good night, then the next guy comes up, mm -hmm. and if that laugh sounds louder or more robust, yeah. you go, oh, you look at what he's 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 using props. <laughs> right. That's right. why he's so people look for a way like because right. that jealousy is in the room because we're it's right in your face. They love me more than they love you. Or no, what that's... they'll do and what I've noticed is they'll they'll have a great set. I follow the one I don't want to mention his name, but I followed a really big comic one night maybe about a couple months ago and and he had a great set. And typically this comic will do a set and leave and I followed him. So I went on stage and and he, I saw him staring at my set for the for, to see if I could follow him. He wanted to see if I could follow him, and and of course I couldn't. And then he left. No, I followed him. I did, <laughs> I did great. You knew what was going on just by seeing him watch you. Yes, because he normally just leaves, and he was there a long time before he went on, and he was just going to leave. But I I know that he wanted to see. Right. Does that happen at the come uh, the, the like the Magic Castle? Yeah. yeah, I think there are a lot of commonalities between the two. So like, there's the camaraderie, and then there's also jealousy and theft and all those things. The same you see. But in I would think the same exactly the same thing. So mm -hmm. they see a magic trick and they go, "That was me." Yeah. Yeah. That's what I did. Sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah, and sometimes it's. There's theft. Sometimes there's independent development. You know, it's the same. And thing. also, uh, and and not to take the uh, patina off of what magic and comedy is, mm. I think in comedy there's probably ten jokes. Like in magic, there's probably ten tricks. Yeah. But it's how do you, you know, like there's a thousand ways to make something disappear. I didn't know there were 10 jokes. Is that, that's kind of a thing. In magic, it is true. You can whittle it down if you wanted to, to like seven essential effects or whatever. Well, but is that true 11 in jokes too? if oh. you include this one. Uh. <laughs> Go ahead. Part of me thinks uh, acting, uh, part of me thinks I should be acting a certain way. And another part of me thinks, is that a banjo? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the, the, uh, I do think, I think like there's the misdirect, you know, which we have in comedy where it's, you know, you tell a story yep. and then the last line is a twist and you didn't think they were going sure, there. Sure, Right? Because it, shock value. It's there's like a few shock, different things you can do. Yeah, right? and different things. And, yeah. you know, um, non sequiturs. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lou? You know, I, I, I just want to say that uh, I have determined over the course of my life that men want to be me and women want to be with me. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> that's just that's a, that's a, a statement. <laughs> but, not, but it's a it's not true. No, it, well, wait a second. I made this determination that men, they look at me and they say, boy, I I would like to be him. And women I'll talk to my son. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Alex, you want to be me, right? Alex? I want to what? Right? Yeah. You want to be me? Yes. Okay. Right? Caroline? <laughs> and you want to be with me, right, Caroline? 
Be honest. Um, yeah. You're kind of like triple or quadruple my go. age. That's so. a no. <laughs> uh, so it's a no. Okay. So what? Like so my people. son wants to be you. Caroline doesn't want to be with you. Okay. So, so you were half right. <laughs> you could be my grandpa. But I was just trying to prove. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to prove that there's more than just. You can be her or... grandpa. How many jokes do you think there are? Seriously, seven. I mean, there's, there's seven ideas. I don't know, but the truth is, it's a that small number. If you listen, you can compare anything to something else that mm. somebody else does. I think that there is a a uh, finite number. Yeah, I mean, there, well, people might argue with. Well, me, look, but. there's also there's also <laughs> if, if you know, I've heard you know in comedy clubs there's always that sort of weirdness if when a magician would go up right because oh he has props right, right. or even a prop comic like I was know, a prop comic before I. Decided and, just not to carry shit around anymore. Yeah, but you there were you go. Hilarious. I've been jealous of comedians my entire life because you don't have to have stuff. That's I had so much stuff. Really? It's all on the <laughs> But a huge chest. We oh, before uh, Carrot Top was even... Yeah. Gallagher? Uh, well, Gallagher around that time. But before. it was just I had stuff yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with me, and that's where my... That's how I felt. You know, I had... Are, are you backing up, Jackie? No, it's not me. <laughs> it's out... I, it's outside. And I just wanted to say that I am looking for this article. I think I made it up. Wow. Or dreamt right, it. Great. Like, I can't Why find it. Why don't you it. start? Look what you just started. I'm starting beef. No, I, I'm going to keep looking. I, 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 I would like to formally apologize <laughs> to Pendulette right now. <laughs> and <my>, Murray. <laughs> and Murray for my daughter making up fake story. I'm tell her. texting you know Murray right now. You know what's weird? You know what's really weird? The one thing about Jackie. Yeah. Jackie is the... Um, the steady arm of this whole podcast. Me okay. and her got she's together. The backbone. She's she the backbone. really is. You know, she's the one. Her and Caroline go over what they're going to talk about. They have. I, I've seen. She has a laptop in front of her mm -hmm. with a ton of. She's uh, the voice of sanity. She is your voice. The people who are listening at home. Her and Caroline keep this together, and mm -hmm. we have a tendency to go off the rails. Have you noticed? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm still you know, thinking about the banjo. <laughs> the you banjo. learn. You learn something new every day. And I learned that today. How fucking odd is that? That's a coincidence. That's really weird. I love it. <laughs> Are you comfortable, Howie? Did you hurt yourself? You look like you hurt yourself. Oh. Is this oh. the weirdest episode you've had or no? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> This is not even close. No, this the is the most boring. The, mo the most normal. The most normal. Does that does that mean boring? No, it Are doesn't. You bored? No. no, no, we're not boring. I'm always no, concerned that I'm boring. No, really? Yeah. No, you're not boring. Oh, I good. think people love to have. Do you want to take calls? I'll do whatever you want. I don't okay, know. take it's calls. Your, it's your life. Wait, well, two, two cops. <laughs> we're gonna take calls, Caroline. <laughs> two cops: Willard Kahn and Harold Kant. God. It's Will and Harry. One Kahn and the other Kant. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kant? Kant and Kant. Harry Kant. Kant. Are you saying Harry Kant? No. Kant. You can't say K Harry Kant. K A N T. Especially Kant. Uh, Kimmy's here today with her mother. You cannot say no, Harry say Kant, Kant with Kimmy's mother here. It's K A N T, as in Kant. <laughs> you know that. I've told that story about my son, Alex. No. The K word? Yeah. No, the, why don't you give the why don't you give the punchline <laughs> away? What's ringing? My phone. Oh, is that your phone? What's going on? People are backing up. You're taking phone calls. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Are you busy? Were you too busy to do this podcast today? No, I just keep my phone on in case I need to hear What's from my story? kid's school or anything like that. Or so you might, maybe you might hear like a stranger walked in the gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story about your son? Oh, uh, when he was a little guy. Mm -hmm. uh, He's, how far back no, can wait. somebody back up? <laughs> There's a backup thing. There's no road as long as this. This guy's been backing up in a circle for the last <laughs> fucking hour. <laughs> Could you just back? Anyway, he's, uh, oh, he stopped. Okay. Uh, he, when he was a little guy, he swore. And I said, you can't use that language. And uh, you can't use that language. And number one, because it's inappropriate and number two you don't even know what these words mean and he told me yes i do know the words i said you don't know the words he goes i know the worst word i go what is the worst word he goes you know the word that girls don't like and i go what is the word he goes i'm not going to say it i said you have to say it you i want you to say it because i want to hear that you know he goes the worst word you can call a a girl he goes i'm not going to say it i said tell me and he points down to his crotch and he goes you know the k word 
<laughs> and I went home and I told my wife, that, you know, what I had said. And she goes, did you correct him? And I go, no. Why? <laughs> Alex? Alex? Does he remember that? If you got a second, talk into the mic. Yeah. <coughs> Spell cunt. K-U-N-T. <laughs> Don't tell him. Do not tell him. I yes. love it. Know you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. It is great. That's it. When you could pass on education and information. That's why you and Tiana need to start tonight because in the future mm -hmm. you will have an Alex right. who knows the word K U N T. <laughs> I'm inspired. That's inspiring. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Just taking a break. We don't have any sponsors, oh. but this is normally if we had a sponsor, there'd be a commercial here. <laughs> my luck is about to change because yesterday I found a peach pit in my back pocket. And that is a, is, is a sign of, of, of fortune. If you find a peach pit wow. in your back pocket. And who put it there? I don't know. This is the beautiful thing. <laughs> and this was before you well, and you I met. I can't you, even get blamed. Matt, you don't believe in magic? <laughs> I, with you? I You're a pretty love, bad magician. Matt is definitely the only guest we've had so far that asks more questions <laughs> after Lou says something. Yes. Everyone else cuts him off. <laughs> You gotta no. be kidding you're me. The only the one the <laughs> you're the most polite with you. Yeah. You gotta be kidding <laughs> no. me. No, yeah. I feel like it's the only natural response. No, no. Dig deeper. Uh, Bill Burr called him <laughs> a anti McMahon. No, but he also said you're a human, human wall. A right? human <laughs> dam. A human <laughs> dam. <laughs> you just you just stopped, stopped shit. everything. <laughs> you just um, yeah, I love that. Then we had Rick Glassman who, I didn't love li who said, now you're making me angry. Yeah. Oh, did <laughs> he had he to say take that off to me. He took yeah, off his headphones. Oh, right, He right. sometimes just sits beside people talking right. and eating chips. We don't give him headphones, but you have headphones <laughs> so you can hear it. I feel really good about, listen, those guys are geniuses. I feel good. The listeners are on my side. Oh, yeah. They want to know more. That's no, what I think. No, they really They're don't. Digging no. They really don't. <laughs> Come on, So here's Luke. the thing. Here, I got a pitch for a TV show. It's about a bank robbery that looks like an inside job. <laughs> And it turns out in this movie that it's actually an outside job. It's what happens, Matt. Okay, I'm not going to be nice anymore. No, I was waiting for him to say something. I was waiting for him to follow up, up now. Follow up question. There you go. Now you're, now you're playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> no need to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> this you is said, a unique you podcast. Know, Lou, and and uh, I just fill you in, Matt. Yeah. Uh, we were talking right before you got here mm -hmm. that uh, Lou has been garnering some angry. Are you kidding me with the fuck? <laughs> the backing up. This, this is the Matt a, Franco backup episode. This is Why a unique not? podcast in that you can express your your disdain. Yeah, people have been giving mean uh, comments sometimes yeah. about Lou. Yeah, uh, like in can the you comments. Believe that? Can you believe that's that? the only place to put a comment? <laughs> I don't know if you meant Where verbal. Else? That was. <laughs> No, they come in at night and write it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Lou. Let somebody we still, fucking talk. Can you I thought believe we were still that? talking Bill Burr. I didn't know. No, they love oh, Bill Burr. Oh, putting it up? No, but I thought you were talking about his comments. <laughs> oh, look, here. You oh, here we go. One. Read, read. Please Lou. remove Lou. You Wait, the show email. used to look. be good, and now I need to find a new comedy pod. Look at, that, look at the look email. Look at the email address. I hate Lou. <laughs> fuck. This is <laughs> real. At fuck.com. This is real. Is, yes. Is, that's yes. a question. This is real? Yeah. No. They, Absolutely. I don't know if you understand what they want to do here, Matt. But can you imagine oh, that I, the guy created an account? Specifically. I oh. hate Lou. Petition to fuck. remove. It's a petition to remove. How many He's signatures? looking for signatures. Yeah. How many signatures are on the I hate Lou at fuck.com? Oh, Was, Was, so Was there a file? Was there a file? Is there a file? This I don't is see what a file. This, all about. this was submitted mm. to us, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. What? This. <clears throat> no more. Show me another one. He loves it. The, I just it. saved this one specifically. This is beautiful. So hold on. There are no, more. No, 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 oh. don't, don't, don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Don't. Are you saying yes? I'm saying. I don't want you to get hurt. No. It's Let okay. me see no, it. No, don't. I feel like he embraces it. No. Let me see it. Well, there are only words on a page. What are they going to fucking And do? you have that saying. That's right. Which, which is... Well, he came in this morning. Words on a page. No, stick. We came stuff. in this oh, morning and, and we said the uh, Rick Glassman episode's doing well. And he said, were there any comments that mentioned me, <laughs> that mentioned my name? If you watch the Rick Glassman episode on uh, YouTube and you mm -hmm. go to the comments, 
most comments are just, what the fuck is Lou doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I think Rick felt that during the show, right? So he was, they kind of expressed Rick's uh, feelings on these comments. No, I think no, they expressed their own. No, Rick was very Rick was nice. okay. He said, thank yeah. you for having me on. I'm going on his. Yeah, no, Rick's yeah, no, happy. For you, but it's, it's not like he invited me on You his couldn't podcast. find one more comment on YouTube? Put Come up on. the YouTube comments. I need to like curate all of them. There's a there's a decent amount. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> no. Well, why don't I just put up the first one that goes? So just one, do it alphabetically. Just go to the comments. Yes. Uh, go go Dad. to what? Oh. Why? No. There's oh. so much tension in the room right now. Because I don't it? agree oh with this. God. I can touch you don't it. agree with what? Looking at these comments. Why? Oh, oh, what do we got? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. oh, oh. Go to the Rick Glassman one. Oh, Rick Lass. Here we go. There's a good one. Uh, I'm calling I'm it calling at you. 57 minutes. I may check back a few times. Well, this is this is Bryce LK. Okay. So he goes, I'm calling it at 57 minutes. Said, Fuck it. <laughs> After an hour. I, I tried. I cannot take any. I tried. <laughs> yes. It's not five minutes. <sighs> it's not. I don't know how Bryce was. It able. has been exactly 57 fucking minutes. This Bryce guy, I mean, he has no attention span. He doesn't have the ability. <laughs> By the way, this is the second comment he wrote, too. He oh. wrote another one also at the beginning of it. And you yeah. memorized this. The, the I, I'm telling you, oh, I read reads. every oh, comment. My. I, I tell her not to read the comments. Do you read comments? <laughs> You're on social media big time. I, I, I do see some comments. I, yeah, I see comments. I and, see reviews as well. And how do you, and how do you how does that affect you? Um, more than I'd like it to. Here, here, look what Trevor said. <laughs> Trevor said just a bit of constructive criticism. Well, I'll be the judge of whether you're being constructive. Right. Lou is great. Thank you. It just didn't work in the episode with Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have stopped the sentence. There's just Louis too Ray. many cooks in the kitchen. I love that you got to also know during Rick's episode, mm -hmm. we had uh, uh, Jackie's best friend, uh, Natasha, here <laughs> okay. giving us an IV. He had no problem with that. Oh. It was No, a lot of people said whose idea was it to put a live mic on the nurse who only spoke for five minutes, but it you can hear bags ripping the whole oh. time, band-aids. I like background noise. <laughs> yeah. This is unlike any podcast I've ever seen. Well, yes. <laughs> is it? It is. It is. Yeah, I love it. You know why? Because it's just me. He, I, I'll tell you what it is. Me and Jackie mm -hmm. were doing prank calls and phone calls. She was locked in her house. She's as neurotic <laughs> as I. It almost feels well, that, like that, keeping that, Lou Howie, around is one, one of Howie's he may pranks. Have a point there. But on the audience. <laughs> Dalton, Land, Dalton Landis may have a point there. Yeah. It's almost like keeping is one of Howie's pranks. It's not a prank. I enjoy Lou. I enjoy the awkwardness. I enjoy the funniness. I enjoy the silence. I enjoy the laughs. Oh. And if you don't like it, don't don't watch yeah don't listen no, I, I like it. i have to what? say keep commenting it what? gives i'm up. right there with you that's all you know i, I love yeah. i love awkwardness my uh <laughs> my uh, uh twitter handle is at ludino look great episode okay great. Lou's, a, Lou's a good guy thank this you is what coney said i coney yeah coney chambers I, I think it's Shone. i don't even like the way Shone. you're shoney i yeah. don't know what you are the, <laughs> Great episode. Lou is very good, but sometimes he's a, you, they're calling you a podcast killer. Right. It's uh, Halloween. It's the, a Halloween. Wow. Wow. They the said theme. the flow will be so natural, then he tells some weird joke that doesn't hit. <laughs> Sorry for the guy. Seems like a great friendship with Howie. <laughs> He, wow. He resonated with that one. Yeah. Is that the is this this is YouTube? I thought that was a description this guy of the podcast. Shanae is Captain Obvious. <laughs> he's just stating what's happening. Okay, Lou. <laughs> Try getting uh, a word. In, see, let's uh, see what Nick said. All right. Nick, it's two down. Nick, the way things are going, this podcast is going to be number one in Croatia before you can say handbag. <laughs> so we have two sides of the coin. I love that. We number are one you flip in it over Croatia. your head. No, but the point is, we are, we were, and Jeremy could tell me, we were 25th in Croatia. And now? We could go number one because you're fucking around. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh oh, okay. <laughs> Lou doesn't talk into the mic. He just does everything else into it. <laughs> Says Zach. Uh, I can tell if Lou. I can't. This is what Chris said. Chris Greer said. Kyle. Uh, Kyle Greer. Kyle. No, Greer. but Chris told Kyle to write this. <laughs> okay. Ha! It starts with ha. Not even a ha. I can't tell if Lou is the greatest 
is the greatest comedic timing comedian ever. Stop I can't there. tell if... <laughs> That's what it says. You got it. Out of context. <laughs> or if Howie found him greeting at the local Walmart. Either way, he makes me laugh so hard. More, More loot! All caps. Kyle! What Kyle a handsome right man now. you are! Wait, is that Kyle from back there? Yes! Oh! <laughs> Uh, oh, here. I never He's knew right Kyle's here. last name. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's our Kyle. That's Kyle. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Man. And that means a lot. Kyle is the demographic as a young guy. This is the demographic we got to go for. You know, Kyle said to me when I if did. If you don't get it, don't take it. Kyle, when I did the, uh, uh, I'm, I'm writing a movie, a Disney movie, uh, about a, a sock that at one time had a hole in it. That darn sock. And Kyle said to me after I did that on your show, he said, people just aren't going to get that. Kyle said that to yeah. you? Which Kyle? Not that Kyle. The other Kyle. The, one of these Kyles. How many Kyles are there? There's two Kyles there. We have two Kyles. Yes. We have uh, a lot of Alexes. Mm. And uh, only one met Franco on the show. You got, a, you got a pile of Kyles. Sounds like you got a pile of Kyles. I don't pile my Kyles. <laughs> what if Kyle had a pile? Oh, he'd have it for a while. <laughs> uh, and then if the Kyle put, put, write that had and put it child. in the file. <laughs> <laughs> if you if Matt, if you use the bathroom, yeah. don't piss on the tile. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not his style. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, uh, one time I walked a mile and I pissed on the tile. In style. And, and what did Hitler want everybody to say? Hello. Heil. <laughs> <laughs> well, we digress. Uh, All right. Anyway, should I call Tiana back? <laughs> Whatever you, uh, if sure. You dial. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to use the bathroom. Oh, are we, have right. we, uh, did we? Uh, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. Are we done, Matt? Do you want to do lose going? Lose time. Uh, well, yeah. No, you go to the bathroom. You can go to the bathroom. You said we were by. taking calls. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I don't think. know what we're that. We're not set up uh, to take calls. What does it mean? Okay, should we take calls? What are you doing? What does it mean? What are you doing? Down. My ass is cramped. So how does that decramp your ass? I'm getting blood moving. He's got blood in his ass. I would get that checked. This is always the flow. What? This is always the flow. Yeah. I don't know that the word flow could be used. Is this a flow? It's a flow. It's uh, like, it's, uh, what are you doing now, Jackie? You're not paying attention. <laughs> I know. I'm, try I'm still trying to find that article. I swear to you. Oh, me. my gosh. <laughs> Give it up with the Give article. It up. All right. All right. And I'm also checking the time because I have to go pick up my kids soon. Oh. All right. Back to the kids. I love that every time I want to see you, I have to turn around. Like you don't that. have to. You can just listen. You don't have to see me. This uh, is a podcast. It's not uh, a watch cast. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a, there are cameras here. There are cameras. We put this on YouTube at the same time. Where I want people to can, can you, continue. <laughs> I'd like to buy a vowel. I, I want them to continue to comment and review and also send ideas. Where do they send the ideas? Like sp last week we had a video somebody sent. I told you, I we have ideas coming in. I told you and we can do that um, prank Is there, call. Did anybody time. send a video? Uh, no one sent any videos this week. But if you have any ideas, do what Jackie says and comment and we will look through them. But if it, you want to upload something, then go to the website and upload it. All right. The website is HowieMandel.com. Do you have anything you want to plug besides the Link Hotel? Yeah. Five I, nights a week. Also, I uh, started a podcast. It's called Mind Over Magic. If people are listening to this, they might enjoy that. I have a co-host, Eric Dittleman, who is a mentalist on uh, America's Got Talent. He's well. like your Lou. Your Lou? Yes. He's like yeah. your. He's like, your Lou? <laughs> no, you have a mentalist, and I just have a mental guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can find that anywhere podcasts are found, Mind Over Magic. When do they drop? I think Fridays. You don't know? <laughs> I think it's Friday. Yeah, because yeah. uh, these drop on Tuesdays. Okay. Yeah. No, so I, you drop on Fridays. Yeah, I drop on Fridays, I believe. How yeah. long have you been doing your podcast? Um, we started it during the pandemic. Do you, like us. Mm -hmm. do, do you enjoy this medium? I do. Yeah, no, I love it. It's fun, and it's it's a great way to catch up. So Eric's a good friend of mine for the past, like, 10 years, and he's in New York on the other side of the country, so it's a great way for us to catch up on a weekly basis on what's going on and behind the scenes with the whole showbiz stuff. That's what me and... So me and her started doing this during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and then my wife came in the room and goes, is this a show? Just like she asks, is this a joke? Right, right. 
And I said, no, we're just doing it. She goes, well, record it, and then you have something. So this is just if we made phone calls and we were just hanging around. And I love when people like you just come in, you drop in, you spend time. And it's just, it's not a talk show. It's not a formal. Right. I, I don't think I need to explain that. I, I so appreciate you having me, though. corner of the urinal. <laughs> I knew it. So Lou just comes in with his hands soaking wet from the bathroom. What happened I here? I found a quarter in the urinal. Did you throw it over your shoulder and spin no. 360 <laughs> degrees? It just happened to be there. I really, you're going to sit on our couch with your damp hand? It's I, I, I sit with my hands. You had blood on your ass when you left. You got <laughs> piss on your <laughs> hand when you come back. What is that that you just Ew, pulled out of your pocket? What I, is a used towel? From the bathroom. Why did you bring it from the bathroom? We have a waste paper basket. Because I wet my hand to show you that I found a quarter in the urinal. He's not talking into a microphone. You're not talking into a microphone. Oh. This is really fun, though. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is really awesome. I, yeah. I think it's great that you showed up, and I think it's wonderful. And I'm telling you, you're my favorite magician. I love uh, who you are, what you do. I've seen the show in Vegas. Kimmy's gone back 21 times. There's no better uh, endorsement than somebody as jaded as Kimmy, who sees everything in show business and goes to AGT, but still is willing to see your show over and over and over again. It's also one of the few shows that you can see in Vegas with the entire family. Very true. You know, so I, I know that as somebody who, who worked a lot in Vegas, mm -hmm. there was always um, uh, kind of a, a blank spot because I wanted to take my kids with me right. to Vegas. And then there was nothing for them to do right. at night. So the fact that you do a show that is uh, family family. friendly, the whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this podcast, not so family friendly. Not as much, yeah. yeah. But that's, no. that's the interesting thing about magic is that you, you can be the most jaded person in the world and you can love magic. You know? I think it's, so. You could be a biker that, you know, toughest guy in the world, but fascinated to see a little rabbit come out of your ear. Or, or you know. <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> example, but you know, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You can, you can be a biker who is fascinated with a rabbit coming out of your ear. <laughs> that magic where you, you paint put, a picture. That you know, the, the you know magic, that's never happened. The, the magic trip where they, they take a the gerbil. The magic trip. Yeah, where they take the gerbil <laughs> out of your eye. You know that one? Out of your ass. Out of your <laughs> ass. That's right. That's a different one. That's yeah, right. That's that right. was a magic trick. That, that was a wrong. great trick. I don't believe that story. About... Who? Richard, I'm not even. Yeah. I'm not. I don't even. I don't want to do that to him. I think he's a nice guy. You know, and I, well, how did the story what, start? What am I to doing? Me? That's the. Not you. That's to who? The story, the which I don't. You know. Think you don't know that story that somebody went to the hospital with a gerbil caught in their ass. No. Oh, that I know. Yeah. Yeah. There, there must what, be. What story were you thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> there must be some some truth to it. Some somebody went to the hospital with the gerbil in their ass. I don't believe that. And th that guy might have been there waiting for him to come out of the. Hospital. First of all. There's no way to get a gerbil into your ass. We don't know that. What? I'm telling you, we know that. What? Oh, that's a fact? That's a scientific fact? No. You don't know, you know that? You know your ass. Anything yes. is possible. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Mr. Mr. Magic. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Anything is possible. You, you present me with the issue, I will find the solution. Yeah, a girl can dream. Well, share that with Tiana tonight. Here's an idea. What do you think of the gerbil in the ass? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's going to run away. <laughs> there must be some truth to it. Has anybody ever asked him? Has he denied it? I think he's just not spoken about it. <laughs> Has he denied it? I don't know. I don't think it's a true story. Yeah. Do you well, think it's a true story? Do you guys know it? I think Alex, have you heard, or Caroline, have you heard about the gerbil in the ass? Yes. Caroline? I've never heard this, but Alex. You don't know well, I mean, the story? I've, I've, I've heard just in, in passing. In, pa in passing a gerbil possible? from your ass? Alex, you're an animal. My son is uh, also an animal expert. Mm -hmm. Can a gerbil be inserted into somebody's anus? I think if you were to do that, you would need like some sort of rectal speculum so that it was already open enough for the what gerbil to crawl in. You, need a, the, you couldn't get it in there without a rectal speculum. <laughs> oh, you need a I rectal love that, speculum. That now it's bothering me that my son has knows the right tools for, <laughs> and for putting a gerbil in his ass. I would like to interview the gerbil. You know, no, ask. but is that what is that how people insert things? And is a, is a know. isn't a speculum just a speculum? Shit. It doesn't have to be rectal. Right, is it? If you, if yeah, you were to look up speculum, you would think it's, it would always. Do you know what a speculum is? Way. No, I was on a I was on a medical show in the eighties. Oh, 80s, and oh I, Saint Elsewhere. Yes. Ah, da, 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 do you still remember the line? Da, 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 da. I love that song. Do you still <laughs> still remember your, your? I've never seen the show. I love the song. You remember? Yeah. 
a fourteen a fourteen incubator or something. What was it? Your line? You had- no, but he had he had a. Uh, uh, I carried a speculum for no oh, reason. Oh, you did. Okay. I just thought it, because it looked like a like a like a metal Daffy Duck. Denzel <laughs> Washington. Denzel Washington and, started. And uh, the Mr. Feeney, William. I called him Mr. Feeney. Who's ringing now? <laughs> it's me. It's my alarm saying I have to go pick up my kids. Go. Da, 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 a great cast. Da, 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 you can go. Da, da, da. Are you wanting to leave? That's okay. I'll, you know, I'll... this thing, I think this podcast will just wind it down. We won't actually end it. <laughs> oh, you <boy>. leave. Then <laughs> you leave. <laughs> One at a time. When Should Matt I go? feels like, if you want to. Okay. Do you want to leave? No. Anything is possible. <laughs> That's what this, the title should be. <laughs> anything, anything is, is possible, possible <laughs> with Matt Franco. <laughs> I like it. And anything, Matt Franco says anything is possible, and uh, a lot of viewers believe that Lou is impossible. But, you know, you should have, like, <laughs> subtitles to every one of your episodes. So this one is Howie Mandel does stuff, and, and it should be on the podcast showing anything is possible. This one. <laughs> Last week. Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to send it really fast. But was the gerbil, did it come out alive or dead? I'm sure it was dead. Okay. I think it was wanted dead or alive. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I can't flowers. I didn't know that. Oh my God! No, thank you. I swear that thing about Murray is real. I th- no, now you're gonna be- oh, no. It is. 